No, you're good. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, you're good. Oh, that's good. Hey, we're all live. We are. Welcome to Buzz Media coverage of uh, this Class C South final. Epic game, but uh, we are actually going to start with a little bit of an interview. Me and Chip did a sit down. We did. We were able to grab Coach Hathaway right before the start of the game here and uh, get a little sit down interview with him. And we'd like to play that for you. All right, we'll play that, and then we'll be back to you with the game. Yeah, yeah. We we are live. The game's gonna start in a minute. Oh, uh, fantastic. <laughs> right before the game, we got this interview. <laughs> right. yeah, it was a good grab by us. Good, we can clear a little time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't want to dress warmer for the game. But uh, Chip, what, uh, let's get things rolling. All right, so you have once again finished a regular season undefeated. Yes. And some would say uh, an unprecedented in the way that you took on some Class A schools, some Class B schools. Um, it was a hard schedule. So. How hard is it to achieve what you've done, and how hard is it to keep the kids motivated, like every game, like when you're two years in now to undefeated type season? Right. I think um, you know. I think the kids are just motivated on their own because they're very competitive and they like to win. Uh, so when you like to win and, and you don't mind working hard to make that happen, it, it creates an environment of practice every day that's um, you know allows us to have some success in some big games like if, if you can't prep for a team like Thornton Academy or Oxford Hills or really any of the teams that we played this year um, you know you're not going to have a chance on game night uh, with, with the kind of loftier schedule that we've played so yeah. uh, credit to our guys for the the work they put in also credit to the coaching staff for the time that they put in uh, a lot of preparation goes in over the week and, and a lot of just instruction and practice that, that happens that, that allows us to have some of that success is it different this season, though? Because I feel like normally your big game would have been like Cape last season, who you're getting ready to face in the playoffs also. But some of your biggest games in the season were teams you're not going to play, right? Like Lawrence, Thornton, Oxford? Yeah, we had a pretty good stretch there, uh, I think, from week four to, to week seven, where we played four teams in a row that were outside of our conference and, and above a class. Um, you know, and I think it's hard to prepare for any one of those and say like this is the game you know we have to get ready for i think what we tried to do in the preseason and over the summer and even in the first couple of weeks of the season was have enough uh things in our toolbox on offense and defense and special teams to be able to you know go against those types of schemes and uh, things like that that we we're going to see so speaking of cape uh you had a very convincing win over cape elizabeth uh, this past weekend uh, in the semifinals and that old saying goes you play how you practice, you practice how you play. Uh, I mean, that must have been the case. Great week of practice leading up to that. Um, yeah, we actually had a couple weeks because we had the bye week. So, yes. um, you know, we had a lot of practice time. And, and then obviously with, with what happened down the road at Lewiston, there was a little interruption in that. So we actually had a few days off, um, you know, where we weren't able to see the team. And then I think when we got back together uh, the next week on Monday, um, you know, there was just a, a good, uh, good tempo to practice, a good energy at practice. The kids were really engaged. Um, the coaches did a great job with the game plan. They had some good stuff dialed up um, on both sides of the ball, and uh, we, we played great on special teams as well. So, um, you know, I, I think when when the kids bring that kind of energy to practice, and and you know, the guys on the other side are bringing the same energy, right? Because we have a whole group of guys that has to beat Cape Elizabeth for the week. Right. Uh, so those guys, especially when you get around playoff time, become really important as well. So those guys did a great job simulating the other team, and, and our guys did a good job getting ready. I do a question for you. A little bit different. So you've had a lot of good players. Like, there's a lot of great players on the team this year. You've had a lot of conference players. You've had a lot of, like, top players. But what makes somebody excellent? What makes a football player go from, like, good at their job doing it to, like, next level? I think one of them is knowing what you're doing. Uh, it's hard to play at an elite level unless you really understand what's going on at a, at a higher level than most would understand it. So I think that's a big part of it. Obviously, you have to be talented, but, um, you know, to, to me, is, is it's just this relentless pursuit of trying to be perfect. Like, uh, we've had a few guys that, you know, you, you watch them play and you see how competitive they are and you see how they practice. Um, and then you see how it translates on game night and how hard they play. 
Um, it, it's just it's something that a lot of kids don't have, that level of, of competitiveness that isn't just there on game day, but it's there like every day that they show up. Um, and, and, you know, we've been lucky the last couple of quarterbacks we've had, uh, those guys are built like that with Wyatt and Noah. So, you know, when you have those type of guys kind of leading the charge, um, it, it certainly allows other people to kind of raise their level. And I think that's the mark of a, a great player, somebody who can show up every day and make everybody else around them a little bit better. And, and we got a couple of those guys right now, so it's good. Nice. So I know we're excited. Uh, taking a look ahead, uh, we have Freiburg coming up this right. weekend. Um, their only loss was week two. Right here at Levitt. Week um, one, I believe. What, week one? Okay. I so think. I think it was 45 to 8. Yeah, 45 uh, to 8. That was their only loss of the year. So Correct. They have won every game since that pretty convincingly. They've been on a roll. Including their last eight in a row. So what do you do to game plan a little different for that matchup? Like, we've seen them once, but they're clearly a better team? Yeah. A stronger they, team? Uh, definitely a better team. I think Freiburg... Um, you know, they don't have the advantage of maybe having all their guys over the summer. So they're always a team to me that is a little bit stronger around playoff time than they might be early in the year. I, I always feel like Freiburg, if you can get them early, you're lucky, okay. um, you know, with the schedules. So, um, you know, they're, they're a much better team. Um, they're extremely well coached. You know, Dave Turner does a, a tremendous job over there, always has. Uh, Davy Jones is, is, uh, is a defensive coordinator. Yeah, Davy Jones is the man. He's, he's got this, you guys see him on the sideline. He's got this mad chemist look to him. Um, you, you know, he's, he's a, uh, they're great guys and they're great coaches. So that team's going to be really, really well schemed. Uh, they've, you know, developed their players and their schemes over the course of the year uh, to get to a point where they've been better than everybody else that they played. So uh, they handled Chevrolet convincingly uh, twice. Um, they've beaten everybody in our league. Uh, and they won all their crossover games outside of the, the conference. So uh, it's, it's a talented team. Uh, they have some, um, you know, some players, some international players kind of from all over, and, yeah. and they're good. Yeah, we were going to say, that was yeah, a fun yeah, game we for us. We had international yeah. fans. Right? Yes. Yeah. I think yeah. we had a number of international yeah. fans in the chat. Uh, yeah. Probably 10 or so yeah. countries yeah. represented yeah. in that they're game. They're all over the place. So. Yeah, and, and, you know, like Kravchuk, their, their big lineman, I think, is, is from Germany. Um, you know, they have a few players from Canada this year. Uh, they're kind of from all over, um, and then they mix in some guys that are, you know, uh, hometown, yep. you know, Freiburg guys. Uh, you know, uh, Saunders is is amazing. You know, he's he was first team all conference. He was kind of the utility player on the all conference team, and uh, he that's the definition of him. He can do a little bit of everything. So uh, to contain him, and then also Walton, the big receiver on the outside, and, and Francis in slot, and the quarterback does a good job of throwing it too. They're, they're a tough team and, and very tough defensively. So we got our work cut out. So. Um, obviously, tons of talk this year, right? All over the state. Everybody knows about it. Everybody knows about the success. They're really excited. And there's the hype. So what is it that you think that makes Buzz Media so popular and makes us get so much attention? Like, yeah. What do you think the key to our success is? I had a feeling it was going that way. I, I think that I think Parkins, Tony Romo like ability to oh. uh, predict plays and, and uh, break down uh, the, the replays is, is a good ad for you guys. It, it definitely... Uh, has uh, juiced up the, the booth a little bit. Um, obviously, star power, uh, you know, with it, with it, the guys on my left and right doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't hurt. And uh, I think you covered a pretty good team. Yes, the right? product so, on the field yes. definitely, the product it definitely helps the field us. Is, is because all right. some people enjoy commentary, but some of you don't. But what are you going to do? <laughs> you want to watch the game? I suppose some people are tuning in just to see the game. Yeah, I think the people that hang around for some of the fourth quarters are true fans of the yeah, rest, us. There we go. for sure. So. <laughs> and uh, Chip's got the last question for you. Yeah, me. last right. question was no football cliches. No cliches. How are you going to describe this year's team? How am I going to describe this year's team? And if you start the cliche, I'm like, right. shut got, you down. we got a buzzer. All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest on this one, but I'm going to break it into two parts. I okay. think it's a regular season and a postseason, and the postseason is to be determined. So okay. uh, we got a lot of unfinished business there. So. Uh, 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 unfinished no. business, that sounds cliche. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, I, I would just say on the regular season, that, that's one of the best regular seasons that I've, I've witnessed. So, um, you know, it, it, whether it's the, the best Levitt team ever or whatever, I, I think that's hard to say, but... Uh, that is definitely one of the best regular seasons that I've seen coaching one of these teams. Uh, nobody has had to mow through a schedule like that one, and, and uh, to be able to win them all is, is super impressive. So hopefully we can do the next job in the playoffs. All right. Sounds Thanks good. a lot. Thank good you. lunch. All right. Sounds good. That's quality. Yeah. yeah, I know. All right. We're and back. And we are back. 
So, thank you for tuning in. And Chip. first and foremost, I guess I want to say happy uh, happy Veterans Day. Oh, to happy Veterans Day. Happy there, Veterans uh, Day. November 11th, uh, Veterans Day. To all those that have served, are serving, men and women, I want to say thank you uh, from Buzz Media. Yeah, absolutely. For your service. Uh, we're at Chili Libby Field here in Turner, Maine for the conference finals. Yes, conference finals. Two years ago today, we had a undefeated Levitt team. We thought cruising to a state game ahead of the game. Right at the end, Cape had that big drive and crushingly scored a touchdown. We had that for you live right here we on Buzz We had Media, that for you right? live. That was the last second play of the game. Now, they say you really measure people by how they march, how they bounce back from setbacks, and we haven't lost since. Levitt has gone on a two-year run, state champions last year. This year, a historic run, beating teams in Class B, Lawrence beating teams in Class A, Lewiston, Thornton, Oxford Hills, and we are, have just been a juggernaut. On the other side, however, you've got Freiburg. Freiburg lost to us in the opener. And here's Freiburg coming out right now. But Freiburg themselves have ripped off, I believe, seven or eight victories in eight, a row. Eight uh, wins in a row. Since that loss. So, And by, by a big margin, too. Yes. They beat Chevrolet last week. Convincingly. Uh, convincingly. I think yep. it was 34 to 13. And that's what stands in our way at this moment for Levitt to try to get back to the state game once again. Uh, we have a full booth tonight. We do have a full booth tonight. I'm Chip Groover. I'm here with Isaiah Davis. Just gave that wonderful monologue. Uh, here with Will Parkin as well. And scoreboard also, Steve. Scoreboard Steve. <laughs> scoreboard Steve. We have scoreboard Steve. New addition to so the So you're going to see a little, little, little some, some new things on the scoreboard tonight. We're going to try to bring you down, time downs. Yeah, Ryan's, uh, Ryan's has lost his replay job, so <laughs> <laughs> we got this guy Steve, and we're gonna see how it goes. Steve, how you feeling over there? It's a little chilly, but I'm doing well. <laughs> <laughs> and we are getting ready for. I don't know what I just said. I believe Freiburg has been elected to be announced uh, as, as, a team. as a team. Yeah. Always good to see the uh, the th mascot Hornet on the field getting people uh, pumped up. The wind. Yeah, I think you got to try yeah. to. In the chat, let us know if you hear that wind. Maybe we can do something about that. We can. Uh, well, uh, we can do something about it. I don't know that we can do everything about it. Where is the mouse? Will Keach being announced for the Hornets. Keegan Rennie. Keegan Rennie having a bigger role in this offense as the season's gone along. Senior Max Demers. Is the uh, laptop plugged in? Just trying to avoid all the problems here. It is so cold that I can't get the mouse pad. <laughs> yeah, I had issues too. <laughs> Jay Snegley with the hammer running out there. <laughs> All right. I think I finally got that set. Right, I am very impressed by the scoreboard on the screen. It does look nice, doesn't it? Here's Angstrom giving a high five to the Hornet. And here comes the rest of the Hornets. They destroyed that banner. Yeah, Brandon Bildo punching his way through. That was actually pretty. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that. Usually they just go for the run. Brandon Bildo just Superman punching through that. I'd like to see that in the game. Maybe he'll punch a ball out of someone's hands oh. and cause a fumble. Let's Maybe see. he's practicing. Hornet is a... Uh, <laughs> really <laughs> into the game as well tonight. And here comes the national anthem. And you'll see by the flag that wind is blowing. Oh. 
been using a new national anthem the past couple games. Yeah, I know. Like I like that. Like I they like had that. early Definitely in the season, it was kind of like an instrumental. The stereo, I don't know, stereotypical, stereo, but kind of like yeah. a base, basic, like the kind of average national anthem. Then for the homecoming one, they used the Chris Stapleton one, kind of. That was good. A little extra juice on that one, but they've been using more of like a, a chorus national anthem for the nope, past couple I like games. The, I like I'm, that one I'm today. a fan of it. It's a quality Veterans Day. Apologies for that sound. I don't. No, if that it's just I'm so not sure cold. He, I don't know if it was coming through just, our board or if it was. It was it the was. soundboard. I don't know, but nobody touched it. Hopefully, that's if that becomes a problem, we can just uh, yeah, we'll shut off the sounds. We'll figure something out. So the captain's going well, out us, to the midfield. Let us know if you have any sort of audio problems as well. If the camera's shaky tonight, I'm going to do the best we can, but it's going to require. <laughs> Require all of us not moving. I'm gonna start off with our theme song, though. I want to make sure that seems to be good luck for us. So I want to oh, make sure true. we get that played. Nope. This is just playing. This. For some reason, that button. I don't know if it's a cold or what. Ryan, do you need some help there, buddy? What's nope. going on? We're good. It is really difficult to get the computer to work correctly. Yeah, it is definitely chilly up here at 45 feet. We are but, watching the coin toss now at midfield. But not too chilly for us at Buzz Media. No. We're hardy. Built for this. <laughs> and it, it looks, looks like, like Levitt declined. declines. Freiburg will receive. That means Levitt will get at the start of the second half. And it looks like Levitt will be kicking off away from us, and that means Freiburg will be coming towards us to start this game. Scoreboard Steve is really working. I think I'm not sure what he's doing, but he's doing something. <laughs> Just trying to make sure it's right. Team is fired up and ready to go for this one. Fire sounds nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fire, other <laughs> other things that create warmth. Well, we did say that if anyone thought it was too cold, we wouldn't use the scissor lift, but nobody wanted to be that person. No, so here no, we are. No one that, wants you know what? The viewers don't want to hear it. No they want one to, wants to hear that. Right? No, what they want to hear is us get into this game. Hornets, as I mentioned, historic run. Yes. Uh, it's but Freiburg's had a nice run of their own. Right. And if you're Freiburg going into this game, well, and, this is and what I you know want, we probably right? have some Freiburg fans watching. Oh, it looks like everyone's getting on the field. It looks like. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> the scoreboard is not. <laughs> scoreboard uh, is just. I mean, the soundboard is just. The not soundboard is just. Kind of bugging out. It's doing all its, its, just <laughs> doing all its own things here. It's that bottom button just keeps pushing itself. No, well, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I all really right. think it's going to be the cold. Getting ready to kick off here. Getting ready to kick off. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, oh, that's what I was starting to say. If you're Freiburg, you want to get this game started off. But it's also tricky because the Hornets on special teams could really be doing anything right now. So Noah Carpenter back to kick. Ball's in the air. An angled kick. There will be a return. And a nice, nice return. return. He is brought down at about midfield, so great starting position for the Freiburg Raiders. I'm going to grab a program so I can get some names right. Tackle by number eight, Joe Martin. Good special teams play. 
the ball mark at the 47. First down in San Francisco. See what Farberg does. We know they've got very dangerous wide receivers. So number nine, Cohen Carter takes a snap. Ball in the air right away. Tackled by the Hornets. Nice play there for about nine yards, maybe 10. We'll see where they spot it. In fact, I don't need to say that. I'll rely on scoreboard yeah. Steve to get that info for us right yeah, on the uh, screen. Second and short. Did you, um, I'm not sure the scoreboard Steve's hand is gonna be able to be outside of his glove for this whole game to update the score. <laughs> I'm tough. We're laying our bodies on the line here. Case from Buckfield, they're tough out there. Uh, second and short here. Logan Walton out wide for Raiders. Cohen takes a handoff. It's a quick handoff. Oh, and tripped, tripped up, up in the backfield. I think that was 78 Nash Angstrom. Nash Angstrom with a shoestring tackle there. Brings him down the backfield. They'll bring up third down and short. Now, do you know who made the catch on the first for Freiburg? First play? I believe it was number one, Logan Walton. So they, when I talked to the guys, they said number one and number two for Freiburg. Uh, very dangerous, and that was who they were focused on trying to, trying to stop. So third and short here. Number two in the backfield next to Carter, and it's a handoff to him. Oh, he's met right at the line. It could be close. See if the refs give him any. Got to see where this spot is. And <laughs> that looks like a fourth and short. And yes, it is a fourth and short. So they got to go for this. Right at midfield here, early in the game, early in this first quarter. If I know Freiburg, <laughs> and I think and I do. I think I do. They're going to go for this on fourth and short. Big play to start off this uh, Class C South final. So Cohen Carter lines up. In the shotgun position. He's gonna keep it himself. He hits a wall, but I think he could have gotten enough forward momentum to get that first down and the chains, chains are, moving. are moving. Yep. So that will be first and 10 for Freiburg. Nice, nice run there by Colin Carter. We're up to 294 viewers already uh, early on in the game. Welcome to Buzz Media. Thank welcome. you for joining and us. Welcome back to any of the Freiburg fans. We haven't seen you since the start of the year. Uh, that's right. We had a lot of uh, international, international Freiburg, uh, fans. Freiburg fans. We had, a nice, we had a good time in the chat with them. Chatting with us last time. A lot of players from Canada, I believe, and yep. among it other countries. First and 10 now. Carter back in the shotgun. Two receivers to the right. Ball's in the air, and that's caught. Once again, that is number one, Logan Walton with the catch. Looks like he got about seven. Mason Henderson with the tackle for the Hornets. And it seems like, I mean, we've only seen a few plays, but passing it really wide and then trying to run up the middle. Yeah. Create some space for Freiburg. Well, I think the passing, uh, Opens up the run game as well, so. You gotta imagine too with these international students that you get better a lot as the year goes on because you're just getting to know them, right? Yeah, I don't and know. And getting to play with them, like guys who were, you. Some of these kids might not have even heard of football before they showed up. Oh, we had some movement there, quick flag. Now, Parkin, you can talk about that too, because. Time out for, for, for Levitt, most of these guys have played together since. Right, this is something where they, and also been like kind of coached by Hathaway, because if you go like, Sawyer graduated last year, but Hathaway's been coaching that like group of kids since they were like young. So these guys have grown up and they know the Levitt offense, they know the defense, like they know the play calls. So it's kind of like, obviously it gets more complicated and intricate as they get older, but it doesn't like, you don't lose that base level of knowledge. So a lot of these guys are talented, but they've also had this experience. And if they're seniors, it's not just three, four years of experience, it's 10 years of experience in this offense. So when you get that, as opposed to, again, I'm not sure where some of these kids might be from. Some of these kids might very well just be from Maine and they oh, play yeah, football. I, yeah, oh, but sure there could be some of these definitely kids. Definitely some Freiburg kids, but. Who they show up and it's just like, they don't even know what football is. They're just an athletic kid, and they're like, hey, I'm going to try this out, and then they end up finding some success and being pretty good. So so here we go, 8.42 to go in this first quarter. It is second and two now. Freiburg with the ball. Carter back in the shotgun. Three receiver set. He's going to put the ball in the air. It's going up high. 
Oh, and it goes right through the fingertips of number one, Logan Walton. That was a nice throw. Just couldn't uh, pull it in, so that falls incomplete. That'll bring up third down and short. Got some proud parents from Israel here cheering for the Raiders. So That's awesome. That is fantastic. Mm. Quick shout out to the uh, Lewiston Blue Devils soccer team who oh, won yeah. state championship today. That's in, pretty oh, awesome for that city. In, oh, overtime. Overtime in overtime. Overtime win. Yeah. All right, here we go, third down. Third down and two. Carter back in the shotgun. Again, he's gonna pass. Puts the ball in the air. Intended for number three. That falls incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Uh, I've always been a big fan of the Lewiston soccer team except <laughs> when we were playing them. Uh, but especially with things going on recently, that's great for the city of Lewiston. Number three, that was Jagger Helwig that that pass was intended for. Jagger's kind of a cool Jagger name. Jagger is a cool name. Oh, I like that. Mark, can we get any replays ready yet? Yeah, nothing really huge has happened yet. Okay. Like, we've got some like little ones, so they're going pretty quick, so I don't want to yeah, yeah, take yeah. too much So this is fourth them. down. It says third on the scoreboard, but this is fourth and two. Three receiver set, Carter back. He's going to keep it himself again. He's going to see if he can get it, but I don't think he's going to get it. Oh, he pushes. Ooh, oh, referee, is referee gets hit. And a flag. So a flag on the play. We are going to need a replay there. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll, be, we'll get a replay. There's so much no going worry. on there. Uh, yeah. I wonder if it was a helmet to helmet, maybe. The flag was before the tackle, though. It is against the Hornets, however. So I do have that replay if we want to go to it. Yep. Go for it. So you can see Jason Egley off to the right. He's actually the one who gets the contact first. Might have been a face mask. It looked like his hand was a little bit high up in there. So as he goes in, makes that first contact, able to shed a few blockers, but Levin defense able to swarm to the ball at the end and just knock him out of bounds. So that was a five-yard penalty. Got, yeah, the ref, the ref got knocked, the ref got knocked down. That did move them into a first down situation, though, so we're at first and ten here. But not to worry, the ref did get back up again. Yeah. Three receiver set, <laughs> Carter back in the shotgun. Chumba Wumba did. Ball's in the air. Great pass. Oh. oh, but great defense by Noah Carpenter to punch that out of the air before it falls in the hands of the receiver, and that'll be incomplete. I've got a bet ready if we want to watch because that was some fantastic defensive coverage. Okay, what do you got? All right, so you can see Noah in the middle of the field. You can kind of see he's got that pink towel on the back. So he goes, back pedals a little bit. He sees number four off to the left, and he goes to cover it. And right before, you can see, it's kind of hard from this angle, but you can see right when it's going into his hands, Noah just goes and punches it right out of the way, able to avoid the touchdown. Number four is Freddie nice Francis. That was intended for that pass. So Freiburg with a familiar three receiver set. They're going with this a lot. Ball's gonna go in the air again. And that's caught. In Looks Number like one, we, we say his name a lot, seems Logan Walton with the catch. That's not going to be quite enough for a first down, but it will be third and short. So a couple times we've seen this, and a couple times we've seen a quarterback keeper. I would imagine Levitt's going to have their eye out for that. Freiburg playing very aggressive. Which, I mean, that's what you got to do if you want to come in and try to pull off the upset. If you yeah. want to beat the Hornets, you're going to have to ball out. So it is a quarterback keeper. He is met, brought down at the line, but I think he got enough for the first down. Yep. The chains King are moving. moving. So there's a new, new set of downs for Freiburg. It'll be first and ten. Great first drive by Freiburg. Really grinding it out here and moving, taking some time off the clock. Uh, moving the ball. See what the Hornets can do right now. In that red zone defense. Crowd wants a turnover. I was going to say, if you can hear the crowds, they're saying turnover a lot, but this is usually like, they're very much like a bend, don't break defense when they do get into these situations. So hopefully they can get a fumble recovery here. First and 10 on the 18, back in the, he's going to pass. And he's got an open man. And he makes a move. Touchdown. And that's a touchdown. Freiburg. That was number two, Gunnar Saunders with the catch and the great finish there to get in the end zone. Kind of muscled his way in. 
And I will say, Freiburg actually did bring a decent fan section that was very happy with that play. Yeah, might. That's the first time all season that we've been uh, scored on first, I believe. Yes. Uh, Thornton. Oh, that's right. Yep. Second time. Going for the kick. Oh, oh. blocked by Will Keach. So that 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 Just point after attempt. <laughs> <laughs> blocked by Will Keach. That was. So I got that touchdown ready. I do want to go back to that block kick because that was a great play by Keach. But so right. I have that touchdown. So you can see number two is in the backfield. Well, actually not the backfield, but he's kind of set up in front of the quarterback, right behind the offensive line. You're going to see a motion to the left and just kind of sneak up into the empty space off to the left side. Not really well covered. That's kind of how he was able to get that. So you can see number two right behind. And then as the snap, he kind of just goes in then sneaks out, gets the ball, and then after that, he's just able to break a few tackles and get across the goal line. So right there, you're expecting a run up the middle. You're expecting number four number one to be the receivers who are receiving it. But number two just kind of sneaks in. Able to get space right there. And we're going to go to the kickoff here. Oh. So Freiburg kicking off. Will Keach and Mason Henderson back for the Hornets to receive. And a low kick. Kind of bounces. Might let it go out of bounds. It does. That'll be a penalty. There's the flag. And that'll give Levitt some good starting field position. This is their first offensive uh, series of the game. So I've got that block kick, too, if you want to. Yep. So 31, it's kind of hard to see him, but he's right in the middle. 31, 33 are up uh, over the center. So he doesn't even really get blocked. You can see that 75 kind of goes in to block Keegan Rennie, and then Keech is able to just kind of sneak right in between them. Hops up, gets the block kick. So Here we go. Nice play by Wilkie. So here's our first uh, offensive series. Noah Carpenter back in the shotgun. Three receivers wide. Maddox Demers in the backfield. And it looks like it's going to be a keeper. Noah's going to keep it himself. And he's going to rip off about six, seven yards there. See how well the Hornets respond. Actually, it was like nine. So that's, that yeah, like second, that's and one. second and short here. Once again, in the shotgun position, three receivers, one in motion. And it's a handoff to Max Demers. Max Demers tries to uh, turn the corner, and he'll pick up the first down. Nice run there by Maddox. Got some big guys on the line for Freiburg. Some big defensive players there. Got three receivers to the right now for Carpenter. One in motion. Ooh. And Noah went to keep it himself, and he is brought down in a hurry in the backfield by number eight, Aiden Orr. That was a hard hit. I haven't seen that happen to the Hornets much. And Freiburg right now is very, very fired up. Yeah, very active on defense. Obviously had a great first series on offense. Levin has to weather the storm. Any underdog's going to come in making big plays. Now, if they can just get through that, maybe get a touchdown or a score, that would be better for them. Will, Will, Taylor in the Will Keach in motion. Noah's going to keep it himself. Changes direction, but he's brought down. Number big two. defensive line here for Freiburg. Coming up big with some nice plays. Yeah, it's going to set up about a third and ten, it looks like. Park, can you get a little replay comment there? If you want to read it. I don't know if you can figure out how to do what he's saying. Wyatt Hathaway coming in clutch. Oh, okay. Shout out Wyatt Hathaway. We'll get that figured out at some point. All right, Carpenter back. He takes a snap. He's looking to throw it. Got He's going to put the ball He's up in the him. air. Oh. Oh, oh but I do see a flag. That's big. There's a big flag thrown that could be pass interference, and that would uh, continue this drive for the Hornets. I didn't look like number two turned around to play the ball. I don't know if it's the same rules as in the NFL, but if you don't make a play, they're going to call that. 
Waiting for the ref to see what the call is. It is pass interference. It is pass interference, and they're walking it off. So that'll be a first down for the Hornets, and this drive will continue. Now, in high school, that is not a uh, spot foul. No. It is just, is it 10, 15? I know it's first down. I think it's 10 yards in a first down. Looks like ball's at the 30, so. So 20, because we start on the 49-yard line, so. Oh, so it's 20-yard penalty. 20-yard penalty. Carpenter takes a snap and a quick handoff to Will Keach. Will Keach with a jet sweep. But nothing doing there. There's a big defensive stop there for Freiburg as they bring him down for no gain. Second down and 11, so actually lost a yard on that play. 62 for Freiburg is a very large human. <laughs> yes. I, I could probably butcher his name if I try. Uh, let me see. He is. Well, try not to butcher his name. Anton Kravchuk? Oh, you can see Negley's matched up on his side. All right, Noah's going to keep it himself. Noah's going to make a move. Not a lot of space there, but Noah did still. He did, was able to pick up some positive yardage, but that will bring up third down. We got that replay if we want to watch it. So a big staple of the Levitt offense is those pulling guards. You're going to see 75, Mason Twitchell, Jason Negley, 53, pulling off to the right, opening up those holes. So right there. And again, Maddox demers in the backfield, motioning to the right. We got to play. So. so here's that third down play. Man in motion. Carpenter takes a snap. I think he's going to keep it himself. I think he got tripped up there. He did was dive able, through a hole, though. I think. He was able to get some positive, positive yardage. I don't. Yeah, it's enough. Chain game's moving. So nice play there by Noah to pick up the first down, continue this drive. We're on the 28 yard line now. First and 10, 2.56 to go here in this first quarter. Freiburg's up 6 0. 6 0 Raiders. No, with a quick shovel pass to Colton Taylor, and that's brought down right away. Gain of one, that'll bring up second down and nine. Uh, we do need to give a shout out to the fifth person in our booth today. We were short a laptop, but... Uh, Laptop Laura. Laptop Laura Laptop came through. Laura. <laughs> and is allowing Ryan's to uh, update the score. Buzz Media loves its alliterations. <laughs> Second down and nine here. Colton Taylor in the backfield with Noah Carpenter. And Colton Taylor will get that ball. He's hit right away. And they then in met. The, and wow. they've been in our backfield regularly. I don't regularly. think I've seen a team this season. Very, very good defense from the Freiburg uh, team. I don't know that I've seen this many guys in the backfield against Levitt all season. Even Thornton and Oxford Hills. This is where we're really going to be noticing that absence of Kavan because yep. being a big physical presence on the line, uh, losing that, it's going to be just a little bit more difficult and a little bit more obvious when you get some big physical players on the other side kind of crashing into the backfield. Three receivers in the backfield. Noah Carpenter takes the snap. He's going to pass it. He's looking left. Ball's in the air. And that's caught by Mason Henderson. I can't tell if he got in. I think he's just short, but great play. Waiting to see the uh, completion. Must have taken it right to the one-yard line. So great catch there by Mason Henderson. Great throw by Noah Carpenter. That moves the Hornets down very close to the goal line. Now on the one yard line, Carpenter back in the shotgun. Got a man in motion. Carpenter's gonna keep it himself. The, the players, players, are, are, the calling, players yeah. are signaling touchdown, waiting to see from the refs here. Mm, he did not make it in. I've so. got that catch if you wanna. Second down and one now, 45 seconds to go. So if you go. can see Aiden Turcott right here, not Mason Henderson, motion off to the right, and then as the ball snaps, he kind of curls up in. Then as the play kind of develops, he goes out, finds an open space, and then he does end up getting knocked out around the one-yard line. So that was Aiden Turcott, not Mason Henderson. All right, second and one here. 
Again, it's gonna be a keeper by the quarterback. Again, he dives. And short again. Wow, on the one yard line, some great defense here by uh, Freiburg. They are being very stingy. So it looks like they'll be switching ends here at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, I think they're gonna let this clock run to the end. Third and goal, third and one. Right uh, underneath us. us. They're gonna come right <laughs> our direction, which is great. So I've got that last play, getting stuffed at the goal line if we want to get to that. So it's 62, I believe it was. Not 62, 68, I think. But again, these guys are big and they're physical, so what you want to see happen is Mason Twitchell, 75, is going to pull to the left. Jason Egley, 53, is going to pull to the left. Whoever that left tackle is, I think it might be Rementor. You want to see him down block and get that guy... But he's able to kind of defeat that block and get into the backfield. So Negley kind of like makes contact with him, but isn't able to get a good enough handle on him. So then he kind of like reaches back and is able to drag down Noah by the feet. So that's the full play. So in high school there. sports, are you allowed to kind of vault yourself up sorry. over the line in the air to get a touchdown in this situation? Is that, is that legal? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. You can reach over. Tush push? Um, tush push. Ooh. Parker, um, we have a great thing in the comments that you like that we need to get a telestrator, and Ooh. it would be the Willistrator. The Willistrator. <laughs> oh, that's from Heidi Bullen. Never. <laughs> Great call. Oh, we got to switch, switch back to the... Oh. But. All right, so I here we are. On. Shout out Wyatt Hathaway. There is a drawing option on the screen. I'm going to try and do a little bit better job figuring that out. But. All right, third down and one here. This is the start of the second quarter. Jace Negley in the backfield. Jace Negley in the backfield. That's a look new for look. A run to the left. Yep. Noah Carpenter is going to get there, and that's a touchdown. With a big Jace Negley block to get him in and get him free. Well, just well how you thought it was going to be drawn up, six to six at the start of the second quarter. <laughs> You did not. That's why you got a two-down on Buzz Media right here. See 488 people watching. Tell your friends. Join in. This is a great game. <laughs> Get us to 500. Get us to 500. That's the next goal. More than um, likely, this will be better than the Patriots game on Sunday. Oh, more, more than, than likely. likely. <laughs> Noah right. Carpenter back to kick this extra point. Try to put him ahead. Ball is up. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh right oh. over our heads. Almost. Now, Parkin could have caught that. What a moment that, that would have been. <laughs> if he had learned how to catch. <laughs> well, as we heard yeah, Anyway, I got a replay if you want to look at it. <laughs> All right, ready? So in the backfield, we have, like, this is a very kind of convoluted line we have here. So it's kind of everyone is set up off to the left. So usually over here, you would have... Um, Jason Egley, and then you would have Nash Angstrom off to the side. This time, Mason Twitchell has been shifted over. Josh Blaze is actually in as a tight end. And then you can see over here on this side, you've got Colton Taylor to the left. You've got Jason Egley in the backfield. You've got uh, Will Keach in the back, and then Noah Carpenter. So then you can see when they take it, this being a very big, very physical defense for the Freiburg Academy uh, team, they getting some mass in the backfield, so they get a little bit of a head start, so they can just push forward. And I asked and Noah Carpenter what he thought about that play, and this is what he said. I just felt like running. I just felt like running. <laughs> just felt like running. <laughs> All right. We actually need to get the extra point replay, too, because that was close to at so some point, maybe. Noah back to kick this ball off. But I'd like to point out that right now the difference in the game is Noah made his extra point and Keats blocked Freiburg. That, that is true. Oh. Number one, Logan Walton back. He's going to be the one to pick up that, and he's going to run sideways. He's got some running room, but he's tackled and brought down. Nice tackle, Landon Daigle. Landon Daigle by the ankles brings him down. Way to go, Daigle. And Freiburg will start at about the 30-yard line with 11.48 to go here in this first half. On a chilly night in Turner, Maine. Yes. Yeah, I was just noticing the American flag was quite windy at the start of the oh, game. And yeah. Now it's kind of died down a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and you probably noticed you're hearing less of that wind feedback. Uh, we do have some greetings from Germany. Our German fans from last time we played Freiburger there. Buzz Media worldwide tonight. <laughs> That's right. All right, Cohen Carter back in the shotgun has manned the backfield. Three receivers. He's going to put the ball in the air again. Ooh. Big air attack here for Freiburg. And that is caught. 
big play from Carter to Walton, and that is a touchdown. One play drive. Wow. Just like that. This is like Madden. I like it. Very exciting. Very quickly, it is 7 to 12 now. Yep, Freiburg very fired up again. Their sideline, their fans are loud. That was a fun play to watch. What a great throw by the quarterback. A great run, route run by the uh, receiver and fell right into his hands. Freiburg had that long drive in their first possession, but that one was just. That was a quick strike. Quick strike. I don't think it gets any quicker. Defensive coach Mark Bonavi not looking too happy right now. So Freiburg back to kick the extra point. And that one's going to be right down the middle. And 13 to 7. Got that touchdown catch if we want. What do you got? So you're going to see right here, that's number one. He's going to be motioning off to the right. And it's similar to that play that I highlighted with Aiden Turcotte earlier, where you kind of motion off and then you sneak up into that kind of empty space. You're not going to really be able to see it on the screen as much, but he goes. And he just kind of goes up, able to run by and kind of find an empty space in the middle of the field. Henderson trying to catch him, kind of ends up running into each other. So then one almost completely untouched into the end zone. So wow. this is exactly what you want to see. It's great back and forth here, very competitive game. Yeah, as much as it sucks that we're losing right now, I would take a game like this over a blowout one-sided victory. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, like no, this actually having some competition, actually having like Freiburg? A little bit of nerves going into this. Like, this is what we're here for. So, Freiburg back to kick. A low kick on the ground. That's going to be picked up by the Hornets and probably taken down right about the 40 yard line. If you're Freiburg, you've had a great season. But all the talk in the state has been love at number one. And clearly, they came in very fired up. That's what happens when you're your top team. People get up for you all week. Right. Yeah, and um, also they don't really have anything to lose. Like when nope. you're going into the number one team in the state, like I don't want to say people are expecting them to lose, but I don't think that they're necessarily favored in this game. So nope. they're looking to play the spoiler on the season. They're looking for the upset. There you. Yep. Okay, Levitt's gonna come out with three receivers to the right. Carpenter in the shotgun. And okay. it looks like it might be a fumble. Freiburg's Robert. indicating that they got it. And they do. And they do. And again, Hornets now are in a tough spot. Yes. 11.24 to go. Freiburg keeps making big plays. Nothing about this has been a freak situation. They are coming with great players making great plays. Now we'll see how the Hornets respond. First down and 10 for the Raiders on the 40 yard line. Got to keep an eye on number one, Logan Walton. He's out wide, Carter in the shotgun. And he's going to throw to his favorite target. A uh, little miscommunication there though. That one drops incomplete. Yeah, he definitely didn't even seem like he was ready for that. Seems like it was uh, maybe the wrong route that was run there. So that's going to bring up second and 10. So something that the offense is doing a very good job of so far is they're getting these passes off quickly. Because yeah. what usually happens, usually when we get these sacks, when we get these tackles for losses, is because we have a big physical defensive front and we're able to overwhelm that offensive line over like two, three seconds. Quarterback's getting it out in like a second and a half, two seconds. So before they even get an opportunity to really figure out if it's a pass or run, he's already kind of getting the ball off. So that's a great job by the receivers getting open, great job by the quarterback. By second and 10, quick handoff yeah. to number two, that's Francis. He's gonna be met by some Hornets and taken down no gain there, so that'll bring up a quick third down for Freiburg. Absolutely. The other thing I noticed, and this will be interesting, is they've been gaining a lot on first and second down. This is a third ten. Uh, we haven't. That might be a situation where there is a little more pressure on the quarterback. Am I right, Parkin, or am I wrong on that one? No, that's <laughs> correct. Just, no, thank you. That's also, they're doing a good job. I'll try and find a play at some point. They're doing a really good job of double teaming some of these defensive players. Um, they're kind of only sending like three or four at a time to rush the quarterback. So we'll see if there's any linebacker blitzes, any like safety blitzes that are coming up to. Once again, number one in motion. He's running that kind of same route. Quarterback's going to look for him. Big ball up in the air. Oh, and he comes oh. back and gets it. That's a touchdown. 
No, it was a there good. was a defensive player that it looked like he was lined up for the interception, and number one from Freiburg came in, snagged the ball out of the air, yep. in for the touchdown, and that's a two-score lead, the most dangerous lead in the sports. Freiburg athleticism has been yes. on showcase tonight. Yes, absolutely. So clearly, Logan Walton is the uh, number one receiver for a reason. Has that number one on his chest. That's a great play. And the extra point is up, and it is good. And we are at 20 to 7. So Freiburg capitalizing on that turnover for a uh, quick seven points. So we got that play if we want to yep. replay it. So on this one, they actually only send three to rush, so it's kind of like almost a prevent defense. So they have a fifth uh, defensive back out there. So you're going to see a little bit of shifting around on the defensive front to start. But then when it actually goes, there's only three players rushing. Then you go back. It's kind of out of the field of view, so you can't see it. But the ball is going right at 15, Landon Daigle. So honestly, there's not a whole lot that you can do because the ball is coming right at him. So he's not really defending anyone. Right. So he's sitting there expecting the ball because it's going into his hands. The only problem is that one has that height advantage over him. So he just kind of sneaks in and is able to get that. So low kick. It's going to be fumbled a little bit by the Hornets. And they're going to take a knee, and that's going to end the play right there. So Levitt will be out on offense. 10-19 to go here in this first half. Freiburg up 20-7. 20-7. Now, not the first time we've been in this situation this no, season. I'm no. not worried at all. No. Nope. Uh, very similar. Thornton came out with a ton of energy, made big plays. and they, they actually dominated us. That was the whole first half. Yep. This is a lot earlier. Um, I've seen this movie before. Underdog comes out, game. all gas. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. Yeah. Well, we'll see if we can keep it up even in the second quarter. Three receiver set here. Nor Carpenter back in the shotgun. He's going to keep it himself and run it. He sees the little gap. Noah Carpenter doing what he does, and that's a first down. Yeah, he ran with a guy on his back for kind of was kind of <laughs> high knees there as he was going yes. through the line. He was lifting those feet up high as he went through. Got that replay if we want it. So you can see guards are going to pull to the left. Our guard and tackle actually opening up that hole. Noah's able to sneak by, is dragging number eight, able to get the first down. And so we are first and ten here. Will Keach wide for the Hornets. Noah's going to keep it himself, and he sees a big hole. I see Noah Carpenter running. Oh, and a face mask. Ooh. Oh, big face mask. That's going to tack on an extra 15 yards to the end of this already long run, and the Hornets will be very close to the end zone. He got, he got was that replay. about the 28. Oh, ready? You got Parkin. That face mask on Gunnar <laughs> Sanders. He kind of went right there. Forward. That right hand kind of as you're going in ends up getting lashed onto the face mask. Got a big you can't do that chant coming from the student section. And that's going to mark the Hornets down inside the 15 yard line. Yep, that was so we're, I think that's a half a distance to the goal penalty right there. Yeah. So we're already kind of seeing how the tide is starting to maybe turn a little bit. Like all it takes is a few big explosive plays for them to kind of get their confidence back a little bit. Like you're going in. Carpenter takes a snap. He's going to keep it himself. Taking a couple Oof. defenders with him. Big hit. Gets to the 10-yard line. Because picks up about four. Freiburg's been doing a great job, so I don't want to take yeah. anything away Freiburg's from them. Doing a great However, job. it is a lot of like we're not getting dominated. It's been some mistakes by some Levitt defenders. Like it's been some mistimed jumps. It's been some like blown coverages. So this is kind of honestly like you guys said, it is similar to Thornton Academy where we're not really up to our potential. So if we can figure it out a little bit in the second quarter, hopefully that changes the game a little bit. Quick handoff there from Carpenter, but he's brought down in the backfield. Again, big defensive plays by Freiburg. Sets up a third nine. Now granted, you can see this is a big, physical, fired up Freiburg Academy team. So I don't foresee this being a blowout, even as we get into the second half and get into like the later parts of the game. However, I am, would be shocked if the Levitt offense isn't, if the Levitt defense doesn't kind of like figure, figure some, some things, things out. out, and if the Levitt offense isn't, I mean, 
<laughs> we'll see, Fumble, right? Fumbled on the first play of that one drive, so that kind of like gave them an advantage. Advantage. They were closer to the end zone, so well, they're doing a great tough, job so far. Tough spot right now, third and nine. Carpenter looking left, looking right. He's going to run himself. Is he going to throw it? He's taken out of bounds. No flag on that no one. No flag on that one. He was kind of thrown out of bounds. That A lot of that was his momentum going that way, but that'll bring up fourth down. Fourth and 13. And now you're, are you going to go for this? You going to send out no to kick a long field goal? I'm assuming you're going to go for it. You got to go for that one. The field position is not bad if you turn it over. No, but it is a fourth and 14. It is also a long field goal. Like, Noah's good for a ways, I think, but yeah. they're on the yeah. Hornets want to talk it over. Is that 16 yard line ends up being kind of a far kick, so. Quick timeout. All right. All right, Noah Carpenter back. He's going to throw it. And oh, that's wow. a catch by Keegan Rennie in the back of the end zone. Touchdown on that fourth down by the Hornets. What a play. No, I have to say, well, first of all, I was trying to fix the sound, but I saw that ball go over the Levitt receiver's head. I did not even see Rennie. Yeah, Rennie was on the very the back of the end zone, for those who didn't see it, tiptoeing the line, and Carpenter finds him, threads a needle. We do have a player down on Freiburg. Uh, so whoever's, whoever's in the backfield going after Noah Carpenter when he let go of that ball. I believe that's 58, 58. currently down. So, so big impact player, so hopefully he's able to get out back onto the field. Right now it is 20 to 13 awaiting this extra point. I don't even see a 50. Oh, Luca Huberner? I do have that Huber? replay if you want to watch it. Oh, yeah, let's do the replay. Let's do the replay. So yeah. you can see Keegan Rennie, he's a uh, tight end. He's off to the right hand side of the line. So you're going to see him run up. Starts off to the right, but then he sees the play kind of break down. He's out of the view right now. But you can see Noah ends up rolling out to the left. And he can feel 58 coming right down on him. So he kind of puts it all into him. He hucks it pretty hard. He knows that he's got to get it over. You see the defender hop up very close. Like, that's honestly probably only a foot over his hands. And then Rennie unguarded oh. in the back of the end zone. I just switched back so we get the extra point in. So he was able to get off the field on his own power, which is great. No one on the field to kick the extra point. Ball is up. Ball is good. Heads up. Oh! Very deep. The little kids are going to like getting that one. <laughs> and that'll make it 20 to 14. 8 17 to go here in the second quarter, or first half. And if you wanted action, you got action. Uh, this is Very great. nearly blocked by number one, actually. That extra Kind point. of came on. You got it? You want to sell it? We got yeah, time? Sure. So you see number one off to the left hand side. He kind of comes in unblocked. Very close to getting a hand on that. Oh, so yeah. It's, it's probably to... something you're going to want to keep an eye on if. Well, and it's that Kicking same thing, too. It's, points. I should know at this point in the game, but which one is number one? What's his name? Logan Walton. <laughs> Logan, That's Logan Walton. Logan Walton. Logan Walton. Playmaker. Um, big playmaker. Well, too. what I was just going to say is your playmakers make plays, right? Like, he's yep. the big receiver. He also almost gets the lock on that. Like, yeah. that big time players make big time plays. Yeah. So, playmakers make plays, people. That's what they do. So, Freddie Francis and Logan Walton in the backfield for the Freiburg Raiders to receive this kick.
And the ball's going to go Freddie Francis's way. Actually going to go over his head into the end zone. That will be a touchback, and Freiburg will start on the 20. The chat says there's some awkward feedback in the audio. I don't know what that means. What's Does awkward? Does that just mean was that from, from before, before or is or it good currently? Now? I feel like that just popped up, but it could also be someone that's behind though. <laughs> it's that. S I don't know. You have to let us know if it's still happening. So Freiburg starting on the 20 yard line. First down and 10, Carter back in the shotgun. Again, his three receivers wide. Gives a little pump fake, but that ball is gonna fall incomplete. That'll bring up second down. So it's looking like 58 is not on the field at the moment. So let's keep an eye and see if that defensive line is able to get to the quarterback a little bit easier, not having that player out there. Cause he's been, he's been doing a great job. He's been yep. like, making plays on the defensive side. Kinda He's been on, getting some good blocks on the offensive in side. In on every so. tackle, so, yeah. And when we talked to Hathaway, too, he he mentioned that they had a bunch of good players and also uh, coaching staff that he really was impressed with. Yes. Uh, I know he, the head coach and then also the Davy Jones, who I believe was the... Davy Jones. Oh, good name. <laughs> yeah, obviously. For the Raiders. All right, Carter back in the shotgun. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to run it. Oh, but he's met in the backfield by Colton Taylor. And they're going to stop the progress and stop the play. That's no gain. Although he did refuse to be tackled. That's sort of a Will Keach thing. That kind of is a Will Keach move. So that will bring up third down. Colton Taylor, nice work getting the backfield there and catching third. the quarterback before he can get any momentum going. We're third and 10. Did we get a comment if the sound was still? Uh, let me check. Little static, nothing major. Static. Okay. It might just be the wind blowing. Or our sniffles. <laughs> and the sniffles. It is. All right, third down and 10 now. Carter back in the shotgun. His big wide receiver, Logan Walton, kind of lined up in motion. And he's going to get head up field once again. And that ball's going to fall incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down deep in their own territory. If I know Freiburg, I think they're going to punt it. I think you do. And that'll be number eight. So, yeah, I don't think I've called his name. Oh, that's Aiden Orr is the punter back for Freiburg. And Will Keach is back for the Hornets to receive. Not a great snap. <laughs> oh, not a great snap, not a great kick. And that ball's going to go out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. So the Hornets with some fantastic field position. I'm going to call jinx on you there, Ryan. Yeah, that was <laughs> the exact same words. <laughs> and 20 to 14, Freiburg in the lead still. The Hornets now seven minutes to go here in this first half. Out of bounds at the 39. Yeah, we have a timer, art, don't forget, on the scoreboard. They oh, know there's right. seven minutes to go. They know there's 7-11 to go. My hands are cold for a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Hathaway takes that snap. It's a quick handoff to Max Demers. He's tripped up, though. Did you say Hathaway? I was going to say Hathaway did, did not Hathaway? take the snap. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we haven't had Hathaway taking the snap in a few years. A couple years ago, huh? I bet he'd be happy to hop right out of the chat and make, take a snap, though. Clock is running, that brings up second down and 11. Wind picking up a little bit more here. Yeah, it died for a few minutes, but it's coming back. It's coming back around again. And oh, trick play. Yeah, trick oh, play. Wait, I'm going for it. Uh, and that's oh. going to be a touchdown by Keegan Rennie. What a play. Keegan so that Rennie. Was, was that after Ben Keach still in the That pass? was Will Keach at quarterback, and Noah Carpenter lined up off to the left. Ball ends up going over to Carpenter, and he throws a touchdown strike to Keegan Rennie, his second one of the game. You know, I knew that trick play was a possibility, and I still 100% fell for it. We're going to need a replay <laughs> because I, I did get back in time to catch Rennie catching it, but I did not see the pass at all. 
We're uh, good. Do we want to wait for the kick? Or? Yeah, let's wait for the kick. They look like they're going pretty quick. So that tie game. Tie game 2020, and Noah is in to kick the extra point to see if we can push this to 21. Keep an eye on number one for Freiburg there. He uh, got into the backfield last time there was a kick. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, shit. Oh. Ball is up. Ball Man, is, that's, that's a car. Ball is up. Ball that, is good. That kick was brought to you by AAA. 21 <laughs> 20. All right, we got that replay. All right, what do we got? So you're going to see over here Noah Carpenter. You can uh, always kind of tell because he's got that pink towel on the back. So Noah Carpenter off to the side. Feels like something that should be kind of picked up on. I'm not even <laughs> sure if they really noticed. Uh, 31 Will Keach. I'm pretty sure he has a pretty solid passer rating because I think he's <laughs> yes. thrown like five passes. I think he's like five for five for like three touchdowns, something like that. So is very capable of being the quarterback, but takes the ball, hands it off, goes to 22, pitches it back to Noah, and then Keegan Rennie for his second touchdown of the day. So you can see Rennie once again lined up, tight end off to the right side. You see Brandon Bilodeau motion to the left. He takes the handoff from Keach, takes the ball, pitches it back to Noah. And then Rennie goes up and then once again finds that open space. So let's head back Touchdown. to the game. We're going to kick off here. Noah back. Always dangerous. Never know what he's going to do for a kick. Let's see where it goes. Right down the middle. And oh. that's fumbled. And they're going to call that a touchback. Yep. And Freiburg will start on their 20. Kicked it into the end zone twice in a row now. That ball was kind of, kind of a knuckleball. Kind of moving weird in the air there and came down weird. So... So 21-20. So if we want to go back to that replay. Yep. So you can see now, typically what happens, you can see the linebackers, usually on a run, they're going to kind of like run forward because they're aiming to try and tackle them. So as the play progresses, you see them shift up, and 22 kind of lets Rennie go by, and that's what gives him that opportunity to be wide open because there's so many defenders who are running up to try and defend the run as opposed to the pass. All right, Cohen back in the shotgun, three receivers wide, including Walton. His favorite target, Ooh. and that's the direction he goes. He was looking there the whole way. Yep. You can see Henderson kind of almost jumped that pass, too. It was close. That pass was good for about eight yards. That'll bring up second down and short. That's a lot like those passes they did on the first drive, those first down outs where they set up a second and short. I'd like to know how many yards this quarterback has thrown for this oh, year. Or how many? <laughs> they uh, haven't run much on us at all. They so. really haven't, no. But Walton has been a beast as a receiver so far this first half. Second and three. And it's going to be a quarterback keeper. Oh, he stays on his feet. He stays on his feet. I've noticed he doesn't go down easy. Brought down right at the line, probably enough for the first down. Uh, looks like it, yep, yeah, there it is. They move it. Mason Twitchell with that tackle. I got that play if you want to go back to it. So you're going to see Colton Taylor blitzing. He's kind of shifting up to the left, and then he's going to blitz, get in the backfield. But then Mason Twitchell, the other linebacker, he's going to shift up, and then he's going to see that running back. He's going to get a handle of him. Slow him down, then Nash Angstrom able to get back into the backfield, finish the playoff. All right, so. Carter's going to set, set up in the shotgun, three receivers wide. And ball's in the air. Caught again by number one. They had a double team, but he still catches it anyway. Logan Walton, big time plays tonight. That's, again, sets up second and short. It's those little seven, eight yard plays to him on first down every yeah. time. And that gives your offense a lot of opportunities to do things when you're always second and two, second and three. Right. And quick handoff number two, Francis. He's going to drive ahead, and that's going to be enough for a first down. There's a penalty flag down. I saw that. I don't think it was a flag. I think it was That's a, it's over there? Oh. Yep. Fault start. So they would have had a first down. Instead, they're going to have about a second and eight. That's going to march him back five yards. Oh. 
We're up to 688, 688 viewers. And you know, when I see that, I just think, why not 700? Everyone text your friends, <laughs> tell them to get the... <laughs> oh, it just dropped. Oh, it just dropped. Oh. But it kind of goes up and down. But we're, we'll get 700. 2120. This is right now a classic. So that, with that penalty, brings up second and nine. Carter back in the shotgun. Three receivers wide. He's going to put the ball in the air. He's not afraid. And that falls incomplete. That'll bring up third down and long. So something I do want to highlight for the Freiburg Academy team, if we want to go to a replay. replay. So number 70, I'm not sure what his name is, not overly big, doesn't look like a huge physical pre presence. So far tonight has been kind of handling Jason Egley. So you can see him off to the right. Jason Egley's kind of set up. He's doing a good job getting into his stance and getting his hands positioned. So usually Negley finds himself in the backfield pretty quickly, but he's able to slow him down. Number two also in the backfield, able to like clean it up if he does get by him. So number 70, that is Mark Maglis. From, Doing a great uh, job so yeah. far. All right, back to throw. Ooh, face mask. Yeah. Oh, and there's a penalty. A couple of them. Yep. Well, Ryan, you would have thrown a flag because we could hear you. I could see it. <laughs> and, uh, you could see uh, Jay Snegler's reaction after that. He put his head right down on the grass. He knew it. But yeah. that is not also a second flag out there. So I'm wondering, Howard. offsetting, or could it be both on the Levitt Hornets? Nope, going up. Yep, they're already marking it off. That's going to be a first down. That was a huge penalty. Yep, so that yep. was a uh, third down and nine. That penalty will... Create a first down situation for Freiburg. Oh, we're at 699. Come on, people. <laughs> Someone just opened a second device. <laughs> <laughs> Do it for the views, people. <laughs> All right. 345 to go. The other thing that for Freiburg is you don't mind that clock ticking a little bit to uh, make sure that Levitt doesn't get the ball back this half. Right. They would love to score and then go into the half. Hornets will get the ball to start the second. So Carter in the shotgun, he's going to do a quick handoff to Francis. Francis is going to make a cut, but he's met by two Hornets and brought down in the backfield. No gain there. He had a nice move there. Looks like 22 Billado and 34 Maddox to Mers. Just right there on the spot for the tackle. So second and 10. Our run defense has been great today. Yeah. 709. There we go. 700 viewers. <laughs> Might be a record. Welcome. A lot of people watching online today. Today was soccer state championship day. Yes. Um, so they're kind of like, oh, hey, football's on now. Let's right. check it out. I'm pretty sure we are the only game going on. Oh, there might be a soccer game still going on somewhere. All right, two receivers lined up. Carter back in the shotgun. He's going to put the ball up in the air. Ball's tipped. Ooh. And that's going to fall incomplete. That'll bring up third down and 10. Uh, I'm not sure. Oceanside and Madomic, I think, are playing right now. Oh, are they playing right uh, now? They might. It's probably almost done or it could be over now. But they if were playing earlier. Somebody could give us a score in the chat. That would be great. I'm sure somebody knows. And I said Madomic. I think it's Madomic. It is Madomic. Okay. Yeah, it is yeah. Madomic. Madomic and Sometimes, I'm so used to saying things, sometimes I'm not correct. I've so. got that replay if we want it. An yeah, alternate yeah. pronunciation. So we've got Jace Negley off to the right-hand side instead of the left this time. And you can see he's able to go back. Nice spin move. Able to elevate. See, so right there, goes up, makes contact, spins out of it. Oh, Jumps up, swats the ball down, able to get the tip pass. Okay, third and ten now for Freiburg. Carter takes the snap. There He's being go. chased. He's looking for a man. Nice catch. And Ooh. guess who? Good catch. His favorite target, Logan Walton with the catch, and that's enough for first down. Yep, chain's moving. That was like a one-footed catch inbounds. Did you see that? Yep. He, uh, Made a nice play there. I got the replay if we want it. So you can see Walton off to the left-hand side. Runs up. Runs out. Kind of out of the screen. You can't see, like Chip said, like he goes there. Right foot staying on the ground as he goes out of bounds. You only need one foot in to count as a catch. I do see a nice score. Catch. Well, hold on. We'll, we'll wait. So first and 10 now. Carter back to throw. Once again, feels some pressure, dancing around back there. And he's chased out of bounds. Uh, Ryan, is there a score in the chat? Uh, uh, there is um, a score. 
Oceanside won the game 34-22. Oh, I'm sorry. 34-22? <laughs> Thirty-four twenty-two. My apologies. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> I mean, Scoreboard, Steve. I we didn't... did talk about crime. <laughs> Thirty-four twenty-two. That's final. Final. So Oceanside, they've got those two twins. Remember them from basketball? I do. Uh, what are their names? I don't. Cohen, ba ba Cohen, Molly, and, no, Dolly, Cohen, and Carter, I believe. Are the... But what's their last? Yeah, name? that's what I was thinking. That's uh, what. I... I don't know. I remember them being really good at basketball. Congratulations they, to Oceanside, at any rate. That was an undefeated season for them, so they will be representing uh, one half of the state title game. Timeout, Freiburg. Chip, don't hit the soundboard because it's last time. <laughs> I'm not touching yeah. that. <laughs> We're so used to timeout music. Uh, I know. Not the, tonight. The sound, the sound effects are very touchy with the uh, cold weather. I've got that uh, replay. I, no, we'll we see it. Well, I muted it. So you're going to see here the coaches on the sideline not happy. I'm thinking that there's a hold on the offensive line there. But they're rushing three. They're actually blitzing seven. Colton Taylor is able to go up. But the offensive line is able to kind of pick that up pretty nicely. So nine has a nice lane off to the left-hand side. Able to get a few yards on that one. So well blocked. Right, also, we 70 once again doing a great job on Negley there. Um, hopefully, obviously, Negley a great player been kind of contained up until this point, but let's All see right, if he makes a big play Looks at like some it's point. going to be a quarterback keep. No, it's heading out for Francis. He's going to make a run to the left, and it's enough Jeans moving. for a first down. It is. Good run there by Francis. Or was that Francis, or was it Gunnar Saunders? I'm not sure. I don't know. I think it was two, so it Francis. Was, it, yep. 75, Mason Twitchell with the tackle on that one. Yeah, I remember those Oceanside uh, twins in basketball are really good. Uh, they're also very good at football. I was looking at some I've, stats I've, earlier today, and they have quite a bit of touchdowns, passing yards, rushing yards. Yeah, Hathaway said that they were. All right, first and 10 for Freiburg. Great. Got to pay attention to Walton, but that's going to be a direct snap to number two, Gunnar Saunders, and he's going to. Pick up a couple yards. Looks like there was a little bit of a slip in the backfield. I'm not sure if that was 33, but whoever that was looked like it kind of jumbled up the play a little bit. And down to a so minute yeah, and a half got here. Got the replay for you. Got it? So you can see 33, tailback off to the left-hand side. Goes up to block. Ends up slipping a little bit, so doesn't slow them down a ton, but it does just impact the play a little bit. And then 75 Mason Twitchell able to find his way into the backfields. Freiburg just does pick slowly, up a few yards. But slowly eating yards here towards the end of the second Colin quarter. Colin Carter back in the shotgun position. He's going to put the ball in the air, and it's caught by Walton. He goes out of bounds. That'll bring up third down. Picked up most of the yards he needs. Looks like a third one. A minute to go here in this first half. I think that was Mason Henderson that pushed him out of bounds on that one. Minute four. They've also, like I said, they've run the clock way down on this drive, which is big because you didn't you didn't want a quick score if you're Freiburg. Right. Yeah, actually, I mean, you can tell. You can you can tell about the well coached thing that Hathaway was talking about. This Freiburg team uh, doing what they need to do here at the end of the half. Handoff there. Run into a pile. They moved the pile a bit, though. And that sets up a first and goal. Yes, it does. What does Freiburg have for 10 minutes? One left. Clock is running, so Freiburg's going to have to hurry to get playoff here. Although they don't seem to be in too much of a hurry. I think they still won't, they still want to run it down. If they don't score on this play though, then they're going to start to have to watch the clock. That would definitely they're probably planning to pass anyway. Pay attention, number one, Logan Walton. Ball's going to go his way. And he is wide open in the end zone. That's a touchdown for Freiburg. That's his third receiving touchdown of the game. And I don't know what happened. I think I think a defender fell yeah, down. Yeah, the defender. 
end up falling on the ground. Wasn't able to. Because he was wide open. Right, I knew something had to have occurred. And Freiburg, 26-21. Gonna line up for this extra point. So they will be attempting the extra point here. And flag. there's a flag. That's too many men on the field. It's against that, Freiburg. That penalty is against Freiburg, so I don't know if they'll back up the extra point attempt or if they'll put that on the kickoff. Must have been too many because there's somebody running off right now. Yeah, they're gonna back uh they're gonna back that back that up a little bit. So well, that extra in, point will be a little harder. In this back and forth game, I mean the difference has been the extra point. So yes. making this one tougher is good for Levitt. And a bad snap. It's on the ground and he's tackled. So that extra point is no good. Will Keach making the stop on that one, I think. And I have that touchdown if you want to. That is a five point lead. So 21 26. So once again, number one off to the right. You're going to see him just run a simple out route. He's going to go up. Mason Henderson's got the coverage, but he ends up slipping right in the end zone and isn't able to defend him super well. And it is the Galley Twins. Yeah, I just saw that in the chat as well. That's right. I remember the call. Thank you, Paul Santamore. I remember calling their names a lot. A lot in basketball. <laughs> yeah. We were doing that game. Yeah, they were uh, just feeding each other for three-point shots, yeah. it felt like. Yeah. After I said they're going to be a favorite to win yeah. states in basketball. Yeah. They, I believe they lost last year uh, in the regional oh, okay. basketball. I, or it was or semifinal. It was in the expo, for sure. All right, Freiburg to kick this ball off. 27 seconds to go here in this first half. And that ball's going to go out of bounds. Oh. Not what he meant to do there. So no time off the clock. A flag is thrown. That ball will be put at the 40. That helps the Hornets. This right. is very much a too much time on the clock for Noah Carpenter kind of yes. situation. Yes. That's exactly yes. what I was 27 thinking. seconds is. Like How many timeouts do they got? Ryan's? Oh, sorry. Uh, two. <laughs> I was like, that was I was going to answer, but I was I didn't want to do that again. Yeah, 27 seconds on the Freiburg 45. I'm not sure where it's going to end up being. On the 11 45. It's either the 35 or the 40. I can't. If it went out of bounds, I'm not sure why. I think it goes to the 40 or the 45 of Love It. So let's either way. So Carpenter takes a snap from the shotgun. He's dancing around. I think he's going to keep it. He's going to race up the sideline, gets out of bounds. That should stop the clock. It yeah. does. Gained about five. But he didn't see what he liked deep on that one. Second down and six now. So I'm thinking you need a big play. Who do we send in out wide? Looks like Daigle, Landon. Turcotte, and Keach. This feels wide. like a Will Keach special. That does feel like a Keach play. Carpenter back, looking around. I think he's going to keep it himself. He's going to race to that sideline again, and he's going to get the first down, stop the clock with eight seconds to go. Now, even though he is picking up the yardage, this is a situation where you're going to want to, like, maybe throw the ball away because right there they did get the first down, but they picked up maybe 10 yards, but they lost about 10 seconds. Yeah. So they really, best-case scenario, have maybe two plays left, and they're only on the 40, 50-yard line. So they're on the 50-yard line. 50 They've got 8.2 seconds left. Ideally, they just get it in one play, but... So that is a timeout for Levitt. Do I roll the dice and try some time try on the music? Try the time music? Well, I muted this thing because it was, but well, we can try. We can There's try the time, time on music. music. All right. Favorite part right here. Bow, 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 bow. You see the camera shaking. You can't help it. Some 
great time out music. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> All right, Freiburg coming back out onto the field. Uh, 8.2 seconds left on the clock. I just was looking at the chat, and I have to say, I appreciate the civility of the chat. People talking to each other, sharing information back and forth. It's a, it's a lot of times they have to shut off the chat in a lot of these, but Buzz Media, <laughs> we're able to keep ours on because the chat people are usually good. I like it. All right. So I'm guessing they're going to treat this as if this is the last play. So keep an eye on Will Keach just bombing for the end zone. And that ball does go to Will Keach, oh, and he pitch back, back pitches it. And brought out of bounds, and there's and still time on the clock. Nine seconds. <laughs> so Keach who's, catches it. And who's he, the pitch? Uh, he pitches it to Mason 31. Henderson. Yeah. So Henderson goes out of bounds, stops the clock with .9 seconds left. Last time out, I believe. So I got that play if you want to watch it. Yeah, let's see that again. That was fun. Almost so you're going to see Will Keach is down at the bottom. Henderson is in the backfield. He's going to run out to the right once the play happens. So 31 is going to run up the field, get that pass, and then just kind of pitch it back so Perfect. he's able to get out of bounds. Now, all these guys, you can see how deep the defensive backs are. They're not really even in view of the screen right now. That's because they don't really care if they get – like 15, 20 yards. Right. They're just looking for, Keep them out of the end like, zone. they're not trying right. to get in the end zone. So yeah. Will is able to get that. There's kind of a lot of space right open there. Problem is, he gets tackled right there, clock stops. So he's able to pitch it out to Henderson. Obviously, they're hoping that that guy isn't there, so he's able to just run it into the end zone, but able to get out of bounds in just enough time. Less than one second on the yep. clock. This one... I mean, no, this is time, time's, <laughs> time's going to expire before it unless even hits his hand, probably. Right. So unless so there's a penalty, this is going to be the last play of the half. This is the last play of the half. So I think you're going to throw it into the end zone. Yeah. Not so try to run it in. back. Does he see anything he likes? Coming right at us. Oof. And that'll fall incomplete. That'll be the end of the half. And Freiburg will go into the half with a lead, 26-21 here at Libby Field. And kind of a shocking score, I bet, for a lot of people here. Um, a great back and forth game. Like, I definitely would have to say hats off to Freiburg's defense. They have come here uh, ready to they play. They to play. And, you know, hats off to uh, Cohen Carter and Logan Walton, who yeah, have connected have, three times for touchdowns in this first half. So Those guys have put on a show. And, uh, and to be honest, talking to the guys, not to the coaches this week, not that surprising no. to see this is a good game. Like, they, they knew that Freiburg was really good. Yeah. And Hathaway, he kind of gives me the rundown of what to expect, but because what was the score last time? We beat him pretty Four, solidly. 45 to 8, I think. I believe so. It was, it was week, a pretty um, And that was week one. So and so I said, I'm like, you know, you guys beat him pretty good. He's like, nah, they're really good. And then he just started listing off people. He listed off one of the linemen, the receivers, right. um, the quarterback. Like, he's like, no, this is a team with a lot of good athletes and – and if you ask the kids, they'll say, like, the score did not reflect the play of the game. Like, they'll say, yeah. like, there was a lot. There was a few, like, yeah. I don't want to say lucky bounces, but, like, yeah. the score was a lot a to a little, but the game was a lot closer than the score would have led on. So Yeah, and Freiburg clearly has been doing work for the last two months. Yeah. Um, very impressive. So something, I've said this before, um, in the Thornton Academy game especially, uh, where they were down by a lot, something that Levitt football has always been very good at, yep. making halftime adjustments. Yes. So a lot, they're good at making in-game adjustments, but especially during halftime when they have an extended amount of time where they can actually like draw things up on the board, they can like talk to their players, they can maybe like switch some coverages because like that one, pretty consistently, number one is getting wide open. Like there's clearly some kind of breakdown in coverage. There's clearly a mismatch as far as like player to player goes. Keep an uh, eye in the second half to maybe have, like, maybe they have two people covering him instead. Maybe they switch up the coverage. Maybe they have someone else on him. Maybe they, like, start blitzing a little bit more. They have just some different defensive. Oh, Brian's coming oh. in behind you. Uh, yeah, and, I mean, that's where this coaching staff comes in. Sometimes we make right. fun of them about how many people they have. But right. 
Yeah. Uh, all right, who's giving a headset to Abby here for our halftime report? Can, it doesn't matter. I can give one up. Here you go. Mm -hmm. All right, our halftime correspondent. I'm here. Abby Simpson. Here I am. How are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. Oh, glad to hear it. Adrenaline's high. Adrenaline is high. I'm not even cold. Yes. Oh, I and you aren't hunting. Wait, we should get this camera yeah. spun around here. Um, uh, maybe. Maybe. Is the crowd? Let's do this. Well, we're all losing our voices over there. Um. Yeah. T talk to us about the first, student section. How's so, what it going? are you guys doing there? <laughs> Clearly, we've got. We've got a lot going on. Camo? No, but I, it's camo. Oh, camo night. Yeah. Camo night. Camo. We're season here in Turner. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal. I like here. the orange right on the face too. Oh yeah. And the crowd, I'm assuming, is all camo. Oh yeah. See, and I think it's one of the better crowds we've had here. Well, yeah. we would have filmed on it, but we couldn't even find them. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's hard to find. <laughs> I enjoy how much just, that park and hated that. I just <laughs> did a Jim Halper into the camera. <laughs> did you see it coming? Yes. Uh, as soon as. She came up here. I was like, there's going to be a didn't see a joke. So. <laughs> didn't see ya. Anyway. All right. Back to you, Abby. We're getting what? excited. Get excited. We're getting excited. And we're some of the things happening right now are so cool. Like, so cool. Like, the little flip. What are some oh. things that you're seeing? The flip. I don't know what they are, but the flip up throws. Check. The flip up throws? The flip up throws. Uh, wait, Parkin. Getting the job done. Parkin, you got to discuss the flip up throw in there. Can you please? This is usually where you guys do the, the specifically the flip up throw. So I mean, at the yeah. are you talking about at the end of the yeah, half? Yeah, there when was that, and then there was one over here where there I were think two. Will flipped there Noah. were a couple of those. Yeah. So, so there's them. sometimes called a hook and ladder, sometimes a pitch back, whatever it is. Hook the idea hook. being hook and ladder also reminds me of shoots and ladders. Anyway, so the <laughs> point being is that the player who gets the ball, a lot of like the defenders are going to run to him because they're trying to prevent him from like advancing the ball. Yeah. If you get it, this actually happened in the Chiefs Dolphins game for anyone who watches oh, the NFL. I like the Dolphins. Anyway. <laughs> so then you get the ball, and then as the defenders are going to tackle them, that leaves the other offensive player wide open. So you're not able to pass it forward, but you can go lateral or behind, and then you can just pitch it off. The concern that can sometimes happen with that is that if they drop it and that's a fumble, oh. defense can yeah. recover it. But as long as you're able to actually like receive that pitch, you can get like some pretty decent yards. Yeah, we did. I feel like, didn't we? Right. Yeah. And the main thing on that one was getting out of bounds. So it's one thing uh, you're either able to get a lot of extra yardage or you're able to get out of bounds because Will was in the middle. He was probably a good like five or six yards away from uh, the sideline, but Mason was able to get it and then run diagonally, so he was able to get out of bounds. So that's with on that purpose to get out of bounds. Left. Yes. Oh, yep. Okay. Stop yeah. the clock. But then the other flippy play. That was good. To no, uh, Will to Noah, right? Back here. Yeah, on this side. And that was yes. good. That so was that good was the touchdown, touchdown run to Rennie. So what oh, actually yeah, happened was, was what actually happened was Keach was in the backfield. He was the quarterback. Carpenter was offset to the side. And then I can actually probably find yeah. this if we want to watch it. Yeah, that's that was it. good. Um, it gets the crowd well, going. And while you're looking for that too, I would say Hathaway loves trick plays, and we have not Big really seen guy. many this season because there's no kind of the situation yeah. hasn't been there. Um, and Keach also loves trick plays. I it think Keach like has it. been campaigning. I know he's been campaigning with Hathaway to run. I mean, if it works, then I feel like keep doing it. Yep. yep. Exactly. But I feel so, like maybe they'll be on to it. I don't know. Well, yeah, you can really only plus. That's the only reason. You kind of save those plays for the playoffs because you can yeah. only get away with it so many times. Yeah, they can come see it coming. You, you have a special bag of tricks. No, but I think that, I mean, it's a good game. I think that we're going to come back and it's going to be a completely different game in the second half. Do you, uh, was the crowd So we have this stunned? play if we want to get oh, to All right, let's go to the play. What do you right. got? So, Abby, yeah. right here, you're going to see 31 Will Keaches in the backfield. You've got 22 Brandon Bilodo offset to the right hand. Can you use the Telestrator thing? Oh, yeah. So right here, Will Keach, 31. Oh, cool. yep. Usually running back, usually a receiver. This time he's in the backfield. Uh, you have, I think this is Maddox Demers mm -hmm. right there. Brandon Bilodo right there. Noah Carpenter right there. And then Keegan Rennie right here. So what's going to happen is Will's going to get the ball. Brandon is going to motion to the left, take the handoff. Brandon's going to pitch it off to Noah up there. I don't really oh. know why I circled Maddox. And then <laughs> Rennie is going to take the ball, and then he's going to run up. So Bildo gets the ball, oh, I didn't pitches it back to Noah. And then <laughs> Rennie wide open. That's so cool. So what you're going to see also is I kind of said it before, but when you're running – 
The defense thinks it's a run, so they end up like Rennie oh, is so right they're, here. Oh, like, chasing him. Yep, so Rennie's right here. These defensive players end up running up because they're going to try and tackle this guy. So they leave Rennie kind of wide open except for this one defender. Mm -hmm. But he's able to just get by him and then get in yeah, the works. end zone for touchdown. Do you got anything else to show on the uh, replays here? Uh, we can probably find some. So, Abby, what else are you seeing out there? Um, did, I think... Did I don't the crowd get discouraged at all when the yeah. Freiburg jumped on us with a big lead? I don't... Uh, I think we were more shocked. Like, yep. it doesn't happen a lot, so we're kind of just figuring out. But, yeah, it's just, it's just weird, like... Yeah, right. I think we should get more fired up. The crowd needs to be yeah, more fired up? Yeah, I think so. Did you notice Freiburg's crowd isn't huge, but they were fired they up. They were fired up, and they were chanting and stuff. We had yep. to hit them with a, we can't hear you, even though. We could hear them? They yes. could. Uh, <laughs> certainly, we certainly could hear them. That's the Freiburg fans in the chat. I hope they don't text them. Oh, them no. Know. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I think both teams are just good. Like, it's yeah, two good game. teams going at it, and I think they're playing like a a version of like themselves, but I think we're going to be way better. So this is another touchdown pass we got oh. here. Oh. <laughs> you know, we have just been watching you. <laughs> I was going to say, so the... anyway. All right. Um, so 33, again, Keegan Rennie actually Keegan's having had a really, really good, night. good game. So 33, yep. this is typically whenever he has his big plays, he lines up on the right-hand side as the tight end. So that kind of gives him the advantage because he's able to down block a little bit and then just kind of like squeak out to the middle of the field. Can't really see him as he's in the backfield or as he's in the end zone because uh, the camera kind of shifts over because Noah ends up rolling out to the left. But then this is actually the play that 58 got hurt on. Oh, yeah. He's running over, and he's kind of bearing down on Noah. So Noah has to throw it super hard to get it over. So you're going to see him. He's going to kind of roll out to the left. 58's going to start coming he? at him. He's right oh, there. he's right there. Oh, and no. then you're also going to see kind of goes up. I'm not sure who the defender is, but he's able to go up. Very, very close. High. So he's able to get Jeez. pretty close to that ball, but Rennie undefended back of the end zone. Catch, good catch, too. It was a great throw. Aussie, pretty easy for Rennie. It's just got to oh. sit right there. Well, he like jumped, get back kind of. A little bit of a jump. But. <laughs> um, Abby, we've already covered this ground before, but the chat does request it. They'd like your thoughts on the homecoming floats of 2022. I don't remember. <laughs> 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 I can't remember. Uh, Buck just really is still concerned He's about that. It. Yeah, he hasn't gotten over that yet. It's okay. We all hold on to things. <laughs> that's important. <laughs> we all hold uh, on, we to all things. on. <laughs> that, That's important. You can look right at the camera for and that. And now we're going to hold on to the ball and score touchdowns. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was, no, that was no, great. That, Parker, that was don't even one. act like you That was like a great that. one. Okay. No, I, that was a great uh, I don't know. It just like, I think we need more energy on the field and in the So, stance. yes, how, what do you think the defense can do? I think the defense needs to step up. How, in, in what ways? And just what do you, go what do you for think it. the issue just is? Just go for it. Like, just go for if it? The, if someone has the ball, just go and tackle them. So, this like, is, we have a replay of a Freiburg oh. touchdown if you Let's want to break this one. Let's see. Okay, yeah, here we go. <laughs> the Willis Trader? One motioning to the left. Kind of out of view of... Like, he's just, like... Like, he's just standing there. No one's oh, trying to... That was a great play. Really man. has not gotten a lot of pressure on but, the quarterback. Yeah, so, they're why? only rushing three. So, if you look right here, three defenders. So, they have one, two, three, four, five, six oh, in the back. Trying. They are trying. Why is number 62, like, trying to, like, attack them? I mean, well, that's, that's what they're supposed to do. So you have five offensive linemen, plus you do have number two in the backfield who just kind of like sits there and oh. is an extra blocker oh. if needed. So you have six people blocking three people, so that really kind of diminishes the chances of anyone actually getting to the quarterback. So that gives the quarterback a ton of time. Now, usually the advantage of only rushing three is you have extra defensive backs, so that gives like a little bit more coverage. For the quarterback? No, for like so the defensive backs. So they oh, we're on defense. you're only rushing three on the quarterback, so you have like five oh. defensive backs or six defensive backs, you're able to kind of cover the receivers a little better. The issue is is that you have one receiver right here, you have three defensive backs. It doesn't really matter how many defensive backs you have on him when he just jumps up and kind of yeah. takes the ball. Oh, that's another yeah. thing. I think we should, like, stand in front of them and just catch it. <laughs> stand in front of them? <laughs> yeah. Abby, you should be in the locker room right now. <laughs> I think um, I we have a couple comments in the chat. All right. Let's First of all, him. Buck says he could not agree more with your analysis. Thanks. And then uh, Michael Henderson talking to us from Journey. 
from Germany. Said he's traveling for work and he'd be missing his son's games if not for us. Watching from Hamburg, Germany. Go love it. Oh, oh go love it. Um, and we have a lot of people yeah. cheering on both. You know what? We got people cheering on Freiburg and... Oh, we got a pronunciation. Number 70. See this? That, that was on me, so I'll, I'll, I'll take this. I'll Ma take this criticism. What? It's Mark Magellus. Oh, Mark Magellus. 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 Yep, kind of like Mark. Magellan. And we, we 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 call this well, we called his number quite a bit because, like we said, he's do, he's doing a great job on Jason Negley, who's right. a very big defensive player for Levitt, so kind of right. neutralizing him at some yeah. points of this. And game. again, I don't I don't want this to be insulting for number seventy whatsoever. He's doing a great job. He's not really that physically imposing. When you put Jason Negley next to him, he's kind of towering over him, but he's still doing a great job of getting his hands on the inside and kind of preventing him from getting a play. And even when he does get by him. Number two is typically in the backfield and able to give him a little bit more support. We gotta, uh, we gotta go up in the air. Yeah, I, mean, you gotta I, get out I here. gotta go. So, all right, Abby, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Well, and Hathaway mentioned that they had a live in who he thought was the second best. Um, and it must be him. So I'm guessing him. because he's just like, like me. And he said Negley is typically someone who takes over games and is able to be Wait, like a absolute force. But he's been kind of like taken out of the game a little bit so far. So let's yep. see if there's a little bit of like defensive line stunts and blitzes, um, mixing up the defense a little bit to try and get back to the quarterback. Oh. Camera's jumping around a bit there. So the disadvantage that Freiburg has is. Kind of a lot has been going really great for them. Yeah. So the issue that always happens with when one team has a lot of success is they go into the locker room and they're like, all right, guys. You keep it going. Great job. Like, they don't really have a lot of corrections to make. The Levitt defense and offense has a lot of corrections. They have a lot of things that they need to work on. They have a lot of schemes that they can, like, adjust so that they can improve in the second half. The issue that Freiburg might find is that – Levitt makes those adjustments, so then, then they start kind of having adjust. some success. So then instead of having a half to right. adjust, they have to kind of start adjusting on the fly and maybe aren't going to be as successful in those adjustments. So yeah. Although, again, and I am far from an expert on the Freiburg coaches, but when Hathaway mentions how good their coaching staff is, right. they probably have thought about that. And right. Maybe you come out. That's always a tricky thing when you are pulling off the upset. Right. Because I've been in that situation even in a soccer game, and you're like, I know they're going to adjust to us. Should we change what we're doing right now? Right. Adjust or do we try to, to ride it because what we're doing is working? And, right. and it's a tough balance to, to pull off. Right. So well, I truly don't know what to expect in the second half. Like, uh, again, there could be some player substitutions. There could be some scheme differences. They could try and blitz a little bit more. Because like Abby said, they, I don't even think they've really pressured the quarterback. Like, aside from that one batted ball yep. by Jace, like, I don't think they've had that much pressure on the quarterback. The quarterback's doing a great job of getting the ball off pretty quickly, but they need to do a better job of getting to the quarterback because that's what's going to help, like... <laughs> Ryan's just doing a little jumping jack to stay warm. <laughs> yep. You see the, uh... No, the other thing that could happen, too, is there's all the adjustments and things, but there's also just big plays. You're right. right. You An have interception to, return for a touchdown, a fumble. You uh, kind of have to respect uh, Freiburg. They are, they're not trying to hide the fact that they're going to throw the ball to uh, Logan Walton, and it, Levitt just needs to it stop needs to try it, to stop right? It. Like that's and right, because so far it hasn't been happening. It hasn't like, been happening, right. He's been dominant so far. So, And either team, there's going to be some big plays for, both, for either side. Right. Somebody's going to have a 70-yard touchdown or a defensive touchdown or right. a special teams touchdown. Right. And Freiburg got a fumble recovery on like the 35 yard line. So that kind of gave him really good field position. Then they were able to get a touchdown off of that. So, yep. And obviously, you'd rather be sitting Freiburg right now. You're ahead at the half. Got some fans from Connecticut cheering on Freiburg in the chat. Nope. So nice. Um, yeah, you obviously want to be where Freiburg is, but you got to give it to the Hornets right away. Right. This is a big drive for the Hornets. Like, do you, they can be playing from ahead or playing from behind. If you don't score, now Freiburg's got the ball yep. and the lead. Right. Let's also see, I'm not sure, like, it's always tough to judge on what you do for a kickoff. Like, 
Do they just boot out the back of the end zone? Do they try and get a quick onside recovery, knowing that the offense is probably like geared up and has some big things going? They're trying to like take it out of their hands. So we it's tough will to say, but something to keep see. an eye on. Yeah, we've got Will Keach and Mason Henderson in the backfield for the Hornets. I can't remember. Did Freiburg kick it deep before? Number 10, it's... They kicked it out of bounds a couple times, right? Or Le once, at least. Levine Traver Grinberg is the kicker for Freiburg, and he's going to put the ball... Roller on the ground, picked up by Landon Daigle. He's going to make a couple of moves. Nice return there by Landon. He's going to get it out to the 40-yard line. Here we go, Daigle. A couple guys got tangled up there, too, away from the ball. And you got to be smart for both teams, like avoiding penalties, right. yes. making smart plays, making good decisions. And avoiding turnovers. That, and avoiding that, turnovers. This that, is, that, this that is fumble championship time, right? That, that fumble turnover by Levitt proved costly. It, Freiburg turned it into a touchdown in uh, about three plays in that first half. So, Carpenter back in the shotgun. Wind is kicking up again. Will Keach in motion. Carpenter is going to keep it himself. He's going to try to get to the sideline, and I think he, I think he will. Makes a move, but a great tackle there by number five. That was a great tackle because that's a play earlier this season we've seen. Levin, yeah, he just he just just gone. turns on the afterburners after he gets through the uh, front seven. But big carry for the first down, and we're right in their territory. So first down and ten. Keach, Turcott out wide, Daigle on the other side. Max Demers in the backfield. And that ball will go to Maddox. Not a lot of room to run there though. He's brought down, that'll bring up second down. Um, I've got that run by Noah if you wanna watch it. Yep. So I've been saying all season, typically watch for the guards because that's where the ball is going. So you see 53, Jace Negley pulls off to the left. Now what happens is, watch the guards because that's where the ball is going. You see the linebackers of Freiburg kind of shift off to the right because that's where they're expecting to the ball the ball to be going. Noah, instead of handing it off, takes it himself, runs it up to the right, so that takes some defensive players out of position and then is able to just make a play and kind of break a few tackles to get some positive yardage on that one. So here we're back. Man in motion now. That's Will Keach. He's going to get the ball. He makes a cut towards the sideline, but... He is not able to get anything positive out of that play, and that'll bring up a quick third down. Yep. Levitt run game has really been shut down today. Absolutely. Outside of a couple of Carpenter runs, they really haven't had what they usually do, which is the Demers Keach Carpenter attack. We yep. do have a man down on the field for Freiburg. Trainer out to attend to him, see what's going on. Um, while we have a second here, I have to, I don't think we have even complimented Ryan's. Why would for I get any compliments? what you're doing on the keeping track of the the uh, down and downs distance. and distance and time on the screen that's been requested, so we went all out for this uh, championship game. Do what I can. That's what you know. Ryan's has been. I had a bye week last week, so I, gave, I bounced <laughs> back. <and> Pre <laughs> pressed it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, trainer is still attending to Fiber player. This is also the last broadcast of the season, so you gotta yeah, this is do our, our season best. Finale. Right? We try to bring it. Song. This is the yep. seniors' last game at Libby Field. You know, yep. this is the 2023 last game of Buzz Media. Yep. Unless for football, if Levitt wins and we do a pirate broadcast from <laughs> right. until the NBA finds us at the Santa <laughs> Luisa, but I don't think that that's. <laughs> I mean, we probably won't do that. We would never do that, NBA. <laughs> probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, so it looks like it might be a knee or an ankle. Trainer kind of working on that player still, seeing what's yep. going on there, see if he can get up on his own weight. I didn't see the number before we went down. I think it might be number 78. Which I don't seem to have a 78 on my program. Yeah, it looks like 78 on the replay. So. We had some fans in Gatlinburg. Watching the game. I don't even know where that is. Ten Tennessee? Tennessee. Tennessee. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I was kind of expecting international. <laughs> <laughs> so Tennessee. I don't want to say that's not exciting, but. Not as cool yeah. as Israel or Germany. Yeah. Lisa, I think you're plenty cool. Um, 
So that player is up. He is like, he's gingerly putting some weight on that right ankle. Get the man a card. Get the help with a couple of coaches there. Now a couple of players come out to help him as well. Now this is another pretty sizable defensive player. Yep. So this is definitely going to be another big blow for yep. the Freiburg defense. And we, um, yeah, we try not to focus too much on injuries, but I will give a little bit of a camera on that, as you can see, he being helped off. Yeah, a couple yeah. players ran out to help him out so they could uh, kind of shuffle off the field there. Hopefully that's nothing too serious. And that is a big factor. I mean, injuries, obviously, we've talked about it. Kevon Graham Jones is a huge right, hole huge for the Hornets. Loss for us. Um, he went down against Chevers? Looks like Nancy's coming out. Oh, Nancy's this guy coming out, out with the card. Oh, now. we got the card coming to help. Good. Of course, there's only four, yard, <laughs> four yards to go. <laughs> Just in time, Nancy. <laughs> Shouldn't laugh, but a little comedic. Yeah. Oh, oh, he, he declines he the card. Declines oh, the card. He wants this to, just in. He is close to the sideline already. Yeah, they were they were almost there. So, all right. You know what? I respect that. Yeah. Who needs the cart? All right. Play will get back underway. Second and ten here. Hornets with the ball in this opening drive of the it's, second uh, half. It's third and ten according to the team gang. Oh. Okay. I think the down marker guy's wrong. All right. I agree. I also had third and ten. I'm gonna go with whatever Kyle Ryan says. Oh, we call him score, scoreboard Sam. Oh, Ooh. knocked down on that yep. pass. That ball was tipped in the air and then tipped again. Uh, falls incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Fourth and nine. So from the 40, looks like they brought in special teams to punt. That was going to be a big yard play, too, because 31, Will Keach off to the right, was kind of like streaking across the sideline or into the... Uh, Middle of the field. I am not 100% confident they're about to punt this ball. Noah Carpenter is the punter and is back in the punt formation. Yep. But he is not going to punt it. He's going to keep it himself. Uh, he has stood up, and I don't think he got enough for the first down. That will be a turnover on downs. Get close. Need about three more, two or three more. And that's the first down. Got a, got a flyaway balloon here. Kind of got away from Now, obviously not going yeah, super well so far for the Levitt offense. First half really wasn't that bad. Because, again, we yeah. offensively, again, we typically expect like 59-7, 62 nothing scores. Yep. Yep. Scoring 21 and a half is pretty good. So, like, if you, like, you're on pace to score 42 in the entire game, that's a pretty good, like, amount on offense. So this is really where we got to see if those adjustments are getting made on the defensive side. And not much there. Not much there. Run there by Freiburg. A little change. Looks like Aiden Turcott now uh, playing defense against uh, number one, Logan Walton. So that's an adjustment maybe that we'll see from the Hornets in the second half. Second down and seven. Carter runs in with the play to the huddle. Second down and seven. The strength of the Freiburg offense has been their passing, but I wonder how much they're going to mix in the run just to get that clock moving with a lead. And, and the, the ball's in the air. And once again, that is Carter to Logan Walton, and that's a long touchdown for the Freiburg Raiders. Yep. That mm. fake worked, and then he came wide open. And they go up big by two scores now. <laughs> and now Freiburg back. This is a big lead for Freiburg. 11 point lead. Looks like they are going to go for two here. Right, you got to start thinking about the the professionals. I know they've got like a chart to make these decisions. And he's back to throw. Ball's in the air. 
Oh. And that's picked off by Noah Carpenter in the end zone, so that two-point conversion it's, will fail. It's funny that uh, Noah picked him up because we noticed that Turcott went in coverage on Walton, and I was watching them come over here for the two-point conversion, and I can see Noah talking to Turk, and I was like, I wonder if Noah <laughs> is going to take that guy. It. So we got that touchdown. Yep. So you can see number one off at the bottom of the screen. So he gets up, does get jammed by four in Turcotte, but then is able to kind of break away. 22 brain ability, though. That's not his man, but he is hustling to try to get him at the end. Doesn't end up catching up to him. But I also have two-point play. Noel Carpenter Ooh. making a fantastic catch. Getting up, elevating, one-handed snag. That is a great play. All right, we're back for the kickoff here. And the ball's on the ground. I can go picked up by Landon Daigle again. Daigle getting some work on the kick return. Brought down a little bit over the 30. And Hornets down by 11. Still got nine minutes to go in the third quarter, but it is definitely go time for Lovett. So Carpenter brings the play into the huddle, and they break. <laughs> He'll have Max Demers in the backfield with him. And a quick handoff to Maddox. Pick up a few yards, I'll bring up second down. It's about three. Uh oh. What's the camera up? battery is not charging. Where's the. Uh, I'll see if I can help. So, Noah Carpenter in the backfield. Hold on. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to plow right up the middle, and I think he's got enough for the first down. And the Orange markers are moving. We might have to do something here where it is charging, I think. I think it's just that it's so cold it's not holding the charge. So we may have to make some sort of a quick move at the end of the quarter to bring this down and run and get a battery. Oh, all right. Because I think it's too cold. It's, I think it's plugged in. Uh, so who from Buzz Media is the fastest? I guess that's going to be the uh, uh, here deciding we go. factor, huh? It's still going. Noah's going to keep it himself. He's tackled and brought down. That'll bring up second down. It's plugged in. As long as that plugs in. Your tip, you can keep calling the plays while we're trying to figure this out. So we're getting pretty good yardage on these plays so far. Like, we're getting like five, six, seven yards at a time. Yep. So if we're able to just keep running this. So yeah, second Colton three. Taylor in the backfield now with Noah Carpenter. Colton lining up at tailback. Oh, it's it's back now. It's charging now. Let's nice see. work, Grinds. Yeah, that ball's going to go to Colton Taylor. Colton Taylor's going to break a run there, and he's going to pick up a first down. Also, the shaky camera, I think, was us moving around trying to fix the battery, so sorry about that. I think, it, I think it's fixed. Uh, yeah, it went away, so that's good. So Hornets. Nice run there by Colton. He picks up the first down. 7.15 to go here in this uh, third quarter. Hornets moving the ball. Three wide receivers now to the left. Carpenter in the backfield, man of motion. Carpenter's gonna keep it himself. Oh, and he is leveled at the line. Byron's defense, hard hitting, good big, defense. Big hit there on uh, Carpenter. They've had a lot of big hits today. Mm. This defense is physical. They are well disciplined. They are like they don't find themselves out of position. They don't yeah, no. find themselves really getting dominated the in these I, blocks. The They're word I was better. thinking I was prepared. They right. seem yep. very prepared. Yep. Not many penalties. I think they have one face mask. That might be it. So a couple receivers wide now. Carpenter back. Puts the ball in the air. Tipped again. And, and that is picked. picked off. So 
Big wow. hand at the line, tips that ball up in the air, and it comes down in the hands of a defender from Freiburg, and that will be a turnover. Freiburg gets the ball. So we'll see what the defensive matchup is as Carpenter stay at free safety. Does he go mano a mano? So right now, 11 point lead. Halfway through the third quarter, Freiburg's get the ball back. Things aren't desperate for the Hornets, but we are in, we're in trouble. We gotta, it's, we gotta do some things. This is kind of a turning point because we're down, what is it, 11 right now. So this can, again, two score lead, most yep. dangerous one in sports. Yep. If we get it back, if we score, this is like very much. Yes. But if we just like. So quick handoff there by Freiburg on the ground. He's gonna pick up about five. That'll bring up second down. I think you saw in that play, Noah Carpenter kind of shadowing Aiden Turcott. Oh, he actually got like eight. Oh, wow. As uh, they're both kind of giving a lot of attention now to uh, number one, Logan Walton. Well deserved. He's got four touchdowns in the air, so it's time to start paying attention to him. Not bad numbers. And that creates an opportunity for someone else on Freiburg, as you saw with that big run. Right. This is something where like Noah Carpenter shifts over to cover number one that leaves the middle of the field kind of open for. Oh, another handoff there. And the Jace Negley in the backfield, I think, and brings him down. So quick play there for negative yardage, yardage and that'll bring up third down for Freiburg. I'm kind of shivering as I speak. So I know. The words aren't coming <laughs> I can't out control the shivers. <laughs> 51 Matt Romenter making a nice play in the backfield. Third down and four. Big, big third down right now. Once again, you, you want to keep an eye on the receivers. Looks like he is going to throw. Ball's in the air. Great defense there by Levitt. I don't think he was able to hold on to that ball, and that will bring up fourth down. 15 Landon Daigle. Great coverage. Good timing oh, on that. Oh, there we go. Landon. Landon left his feet right at the perfect time. Got a hand in on that. Knocked it out. Will Keach will go back for the Hornets to receive this punt. Hornets, need, Hornets needed that defensive series. Yeah, after absolutely. The interception. And I believe it's Aiden Orr, the Freiburg player back, to kick this ball. And the Hornets still have a lot of work to do. Now, last punt. But. Bad snap, bad punt. So let's keep an eye on that happens again there. Great good snap. snap. And good punt. Will Keach will take it though. He's got some room to run. Will Keach is picking up some positive yardage here. Will Keach makes a cut inside. And Will Keach again continuing to fight, not wanting to come down and gets the ball all the way down to about the 35 yard line. Great field position for Levitt to start this drive. This last minute and a half by Levitt has been huge. They still yes. have a lot of work to do, but they've got the ball right about where they left off. I got that, that punt return if you want to watch interception. it. Interception. Here, let's see. I heard the crowd come alive a little bit there, too. So 31 takes it off to the side. You actually see Brandon Bilodeau off to the side kind of put his hand up and say, like, hey, you're good over here. Like, I got this guy. Lays a pretty solid block. Opens up an avenue. Brandon Bilodeau doing a great job blocking two or three people on that, getting Will Keach an extra, like, 15, 20 yards than he might have already so gotten. So, Carpenter back. It's a quick handoff to Will Keach. Will Keach with the sweep. Nothing there, though. No gain there. Freiburg defense ready for that. Freiburg defense has been ready all night. I mean, they have not. Our, even our scores haven't been easy. They're not right. getting those huge plays like we get sometimes. We have not seen a Noah Carpenter uh, run for a big gain like we we're used to seeing. So No, he's had a few first downs, but he hasn't been able to bust it all the way. He's going to keep it here. Breaks through the line. Still on his feet. That'll be close to a first down. It's got to be a first, right? Oh, you're right, close. So very short yardage to go here for a first down. Be third and one. Less than a yard, according to Chris Schaffelli. 
Carpenter in the shotgun. Got a man in motion. Carpenter's gonna keep it. And I, whew, he should pick up that first down with that run right there. Chain and gain's moving. Chain gain's moving, so. Ball's on the 21, and that's good for a first down. They break the huddle with Will Keach and Turcott to the right. Henderson to the left, and it's a handoff to Max Demers. Tough run there by Maddox. Got about five. Anything going on in the chat? The Freiburg Academy Raiders versus the Levitt Hornets. Mascot debate. Oh, mascot <laughs> debate. Okay. Great game. Let's focus on that. Yeah. Yeah, guys, please let's make sure the chat. We don't want to have to be distracted by the chat. All right, Carpenter back in the shotgun. Man of motion. He's going to keep it himself. Follows his line, picks up a couple, but that will bring up third down. Third, maybe it says third seven on the uh, scoreboard, but that's not right. I what think, do you have, Ryan? Third and three? Well, I'm wondering if they're going to update it, but I guess not. It was second and seven, so they changed thought, the I down. Know. Not sure if they're going to change the yardage, but. It's, so it's probably shorter, probably third and five. Mason Henderson out wide for the Hornets. That receiver, man of motion. Carpenter back to throw, he's looking around. Sizing up his options. I think he's pushed out of bounds though before he gets the first. So that will bring up fourth down. Yep. Carpenter on the carry. He's out of bounds after a game. Looks like a fourth and four, maybe. They haven't updated it, so it's still fourth and seven on the scoreboard. The Raiders defensive backs doing a great job in coverage. Fourth and three is the updated scoreboard. Big fourth down here for Levitt. Minute to go in this third quarter, down two scores. Three yards here is more important than getting a touchdown. You'll take a touchdown, but if you can get three yards, get a new set of downs. I don't expect to see any cloud of dust tonight, though. It's not really dusty out here. Carpenter all by himself in the backfield. There's a man in motion, but Carpenter's going to take it the other direction. Mm. He's going to have to fight for it. Nope. And I don't think he got it. Big defensive stop by the Freiburg Raiders there. Gunner Sounders on, on, in on that tackle for Freiburg. It is short of the line of line again. So first down and 10 on the 12 yard line now for the Raiders. That hurts. Yep. As you can see on the scoreboard, the wind has picked back up again. And a minute 16 to go, still holding on to that two score lead. <laughs> so last series we saw double coverage on Logan Walton. I'm imagining we're gonna see the same thing here. And Freiburg is taking a timeout. And timeout. All right. Make sure they get what they want in. So I've got that defensive stop if we want to. Yep. So you're gonna see Aiden Turcott's gonna motion to the right. Noah Carpenter takes the ball, runs out to the left. Again, these Freiburg defenders doing a great job of staying disciplined, not getting caught going too far inside, kind of following with him. Noah's fast kid, but these defenders able to stay with him. Noah staying on his feet, getting dragged by two guys, not able to get that first down yardage though. Came close, but. So if you're quite. just tuning in, the Freiburg Academy Raiders have been all over the Levitt Hornets tonight. Four touchdowns from Cohen Carter to Logan Walton in the air. Uh, with some big plays for Levitt, where the 
little couple of trick plays really yep. that got us some big plays. Uh, but the Levitt Hornets haven't really been able to get much going here in the second half. Freiburg's defense has been stout. Yep. So we it was back and forth in the first half. It was Freiburg went ahead on the last their last drive. Hornets couldn't quite uh ran out of time before they could march back. But then you're right, this third quarter, the Hornets have done nothing on offense. They've had three, two possessions. Two or three possessions. Two? Uh, two, I believe. Well, we started with the ball as well. Right. So three. We Levitt have the, also has interception, so. Right. Levitt's also given the ball up twice so far, so. So. What do we got here? Quick snap, quick run there by the quarterback from Freiburg. He picks up a few yards. We'll bring up second down. Yeah, I think we had three possessions because we got the ball first. They did, didn't do anything. Then they scored. Then we had the pick, and then that drive. Yep. And a nine-yard pickup for Freiburg on first. Again, second and one. It's getting a little tough to feel my fingers clicking the scoreboard. Yeah. Here. We are at 938 people watching, so thanks for tuning in. This game far from over. A full quarter left to go. Yep. Carter back in the shotgun for Freiburg. Takes a snap. He's going to nice. run it. Yeah, that's enough for a first down, though. Good run. Yeah, the Hornets were pretty quick on that, but he was definitely able to get what he needed. So uh, 20, under 20 seconds to go, as you can see. So that probably will bring us to the end of the third quarter. And then I'll bring... The action down to us as we go into the fourth quarter. No oh. yawning, Chip. Let's go. Uh, Lock in. <laughs> Lock in. <laughs> I'm locked in. I'm thinking about. I'm, I'm thinking about somewhere to get some warm food after uh, this game. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just said very conflicting things. I'm locked in. I'm thinking about what I want to yeah, eat. Yeah, I'm locked in on <laughs> what I want to eat. <laughs> You'll lock in on this game here. Maybe some Buckfield chicken tenders. Ooh, I don't know. Oh well, those are good. <laughs> that is true. All right, refs place the ball, and we're going to start this fourth quarter here at Libby Field. 32-21. 32-21, yeah. Yep. Right now, Freiburg. In control. With Yep, and in a, it would be a stunning upset. Yes, stunning is. Stunning upset. Stunning. And Freiburg has earned every bit of it. Nothing. Yep. Nothing cheap about this one. We'll see, though. The Hornets got 12 more minutes to, to answer. Looks like 58's back in the game now. Went out in the first quarter. I don't think he came back in the rest of the first half. Not sure when he got back in, but. It was the middle of the third quarter. He's in the chat. 58 was back in. Perfect. I right, see it. All right, Cohen Carter back in the shotgun. Looks like he's going to put the ball in the air. Oh, he thinks about it. It might run. Directing traffic there. Ooh, that would have been a great catch, but it does fall incomplete, so they'll bring up second down. That would have been out of bounds, right? Even if he caught it. It looked like his feet were actually oh, inbounds. Oh, he might have actually had that catch. But I do. Yeah. I think the ball hit the ground on the way out, but I, I think his feet were. I am getting so. called out. You're yawning? It's almost 2 a.m. in Israel. I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. I, I apologize. You know what? You. Also, I appreciate that. I appreciate that you're saying up to 2 a.m. to watch this. Fantastic. All right, second and 10. Second and 10. He's going to go back. Ball's going to go in the air again. He's being chased. And nice. that's 78 Nash Angstrom. Those incompletions are nice, too, for the Hornets because. Stops clock. Yep, the yep. clock is not on our side at the moment, so. Desperation setting in. You can see, I can feel like Levitt's playing a little bit more energy in these last couple yep. of plays. Third down and 10 now for Freiburg. I've been thinking about the first game of the season we played Freiburg, and I remember doing that game, and Carter and Walton had so many balls thrown in the air that they were like five feet away from the um, outstretched hands. Tonight, they've connected. All right, once again, it's going to be a quick, no, quarterback's going to keep it. Oh, he tries to get Big that first Noah down. Carpenter. But Noah Carpenter knocks him backwards, and that will bring up fourth down and short. 
That was a big hit. That we've was a seen, huge hit. We've seen some big hits, like clean hits. Both teams. Oh, absolutely. Just very big hits. That's probably the biggest one I've seen Levitt put on a Freiburg player. So that brings up fourth and short. We're going to see, looks like number eight, Aiden Orr is back for Freiburg, so they are going to kick. Will Keach back to receive for the Hornets. Let's see if they bring anyone off to the side, try and get a block punt here. And balls up and balls out. That was not a great punt. Nope, so I think you could, you could hear the wind that blew it out of bounds. <laughs> it is picking up heavy Ooh. now. Uh, I don't know how we could try to cover our, our headsets, but it is not that easy to do. And the Hornets are going to start with great field position. So the ball's on the inside of the 50 here. So short field for Levitt, 10.52 to go in the game. I mean, we're here in the fourth quarter, so it is crunch time. In regulation, guys, you never know. We could get some extra time up here. Carpenter back in the shotgun, man in motion. Balls up in the air. He has a man that's landing Daigle. Daigle. Oh. Daigle with a big catch down to the 10 yard line. And we're going to definitely need a replay on that one. I couldn't. Where my glove? It's hard to hit the zoom button. I apologize, Landon. I should have had your catch. They needed that. So, Park, can you let me know. So, the we crowd definitely ready? getting. Replays uh, ready. All right, let's see this. So, 15 Landon Daigle at the bottom of the screen. He's going to run up. No Carpenter. Tosses out. Nice over the shoulder catch by Landon Daigle. Excellent. Very much needed here. All right, three receiver set for the Hornets here. Carpenter with the man in the backfield. Carpenter's going to keep it himself. Carpenter sees Got the hole. Carpenter's in for the touchdown. Let's go, Hornets. Great run there by Noah Carpenter. Took his time, saw the hole. The line just opened it up for him, and he's able to go in untouched for the touchdown. Five-point deficit. You go for two to make it a field goal? I mean, I don't, you don't see a lot of field goals, but... Yes, because the thing is, if you don't go for it, it's a five-point game. So if you score a touchdown, you would still have the you lead. Still have the lead anyway. So even if you don't get it, touchdown right. like, four points, wouldn't make a difference. A four-point lead doesn't make any doesn't mean anything. Right. So. Yeah. So you do want to go for two just to make it so that score is a little bit closer. So going for two, couple of receivers, Max Demers in the backfield, man of motion. Carpenter takes a snap. Oh, he slips. Makes a man miss. Got and it. A, wow. What a throw. Keegan Rennie with a big catch in the end zone. Keegan Rennie, ladies and gentlemen. Keegan Rennie's having himself a night. He is. Noah Carpenter, magician. I don't know how he got that ball out of his hands. Just kept it alive, kept it alive. Keegan Rennie, the main adventure. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm feeling warm now. I'm ready. Here we go, boys. Fourth quarter, Ryan's showing up. All right, I got that. I got that touchdown. <laughs> All right, so you're going to see 75, Mason Twitchell, 53, Jason Engler going to pull to the left. You have Maddox Demers in the backfield. He's also going to act as a lead blocker. So they're pulling off. Mason's going to push the guy out. Negley's going to pull in. Then Maddox is going to push in a little bit. And then Noah's just going to go right up inside. And he's going to find a little bit of a hole off to the left off of Negley's block. And then he's got a pretty wide open lane to the end zone. And then I should also have that two-point. Yeah, I think we still have a chance. That was an incredible play. Carpenter kept it alive a long time. You're still up, Parkin. So we can come back to it after oh, the okay. kick because All I right. do want to. Make sure we don't miss this kick. All right, so Noah Carpenter back to kick for the Hornets. 32-29. 10-19 to go here in Woo. this game. <laughs> Anis. Ooh, he does Almost go. got it. And you knew we were going to go for that onside kick at some point. The Hornets have. Nice job. I'm not there, even buddy. sure if that was an onside kick. I no, think it just, just kind of hit the guy kinda, in front. But yeah. I do have that two point if we want to go back yep. to it. So you're going to see Keegan run. You can't really see him because Noah's kind of in the way, but he's tight end off to the left hand side. He's going to run up and across, find himself in the back of the end zone. Pretty well covered. So instead of just sitting, he sees that Noah's scrambling, so he tries to like help him out by running off to the left to open up that passing lane a little bit more. And then Noah's able to throw it up, and then Keegan Rennie able to go and make that great catch. So, 
All right, here we go. All right, back Let's of the game. Freiburg can answer. They've answered so far. First and 10 for Freiburg. And it's a handoff to number two. That's Francis. He's, no, I'm sorry, that's Gunnar Sanders. He's going to be stood up and progress will be stopped. So that'll be second down. Gets about three. So far, every time Lovett's had a big play all game, Freiburg's come back and answered. And had their own big play, absolutely. Yeah. So this is a huge drive right now. Still tons of time on the clock, now that, especially now that we're in a three-point game, not 11. Does the experience at the Levitt Hornets come through? Or can Freiburg get it done? Uh, someone has requested to see the kick again. We can try to get that to you at some point. Yeah. So Carter back in the shotgun. He's going to put the ball in the air. And that ball's thrown out of bounds. So well defended up, by 15. That'll bring up yep. third down. Again, I think the adjustment that was made by the Hornets having Noah Carpenter over kind of shadowing um, Logan Walton yep. has been huge. Like, they are not throwing in that direction anymore, it seems. And Well, you're, I mean, he's been the star of the game, and you're marking him with our biggest star. Yep. And we are over 1,000 people watching. I think that is a first. I think that is a first. All right, so third down and seven for Freiburg. Carter back in the shotgun. You got to watch Logan Walton. He's in motion. He's going to cut up field. Oh, oh, and a big sack by the Hornets. Oh, oh no. Whoa. No way. Oh. I don't know. That was. I a, already disagree. <laughs> that was a uh, sack. Not. And then they threw a flag. Unless they were calling a hold before, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be on the Hornets. Actually, they're still. Discussing. Oh, I see two flags. There's one right side. Uh, so the Hornet defense oh, in the backfield it. with the big sack. That tells you Parkin sees the penalty. He's looking at the replay. Could have been, could have been a face mask. Let's see the call. I'm actually not entirely sure if it was a face mask. It looked like there was kind of like. He's making personal foul, personal face, foul mask. face mask yeah. on the Hornets. Oh, negates a big play. And that's a huge first down for Freiburg. That was going to be a punt. Apologize about the wind. Nothing we can really yeah, do about that. Not, it is windy up here. <laughs> goosebumps in Germany. Well, we have goosebumps up here also. Of <laughs> <laughs> a different sort. <laughs> As Joe Fitzsimmons said, that was the first quarterback pressure of the entire game. Yes, it feels right. like, like not really getting yep. a lot of heat onto the quarterback. So let's see if that's going to be something that... We're going to attempt again at some point. All yep. right, first Freiburg. and 10 for Freiburg here. They're going to split out three wide receivers. No one in the backfield. Crowd Man is in motion. Loud. And it's a quick handoff to Gunnar Saunders. He is run into. Oh, stays on his pushes feet. Pushes that pile he Stays on ahead. his feet and pushes the pile. Picked up a nice gain out of that. There's another flag, flag on, on the play, play though. Late. And holding on the out Freiburg. And that's a holding call against Freiburg, so that will back them up. Will they replay the down? Levitt student section been on their feet since feels like the beginning of the second half. As Abby said, they need that energy. Need it. And now they have got a first and 20. First and 20, yeah. But that's the first time wow, I've had to add yards for Freiburg. That's a, maybe one of their first negative plays of the game. And the ball's thrown over to Completed. Logan Walton. He escapes the tackle. He steps out of bounds. He got a big chunk of that yardage back. That'll bring him second down. He had a decent amount of the catch, but then he escapes the tackle. And that's second and four, maybe? So Carter's going to run that play into the huddle here. Freiburg will break. 
Let's see what they come out with here for the second down play. Clock stopped. Oh, the An official's timeout. I don't know what's going on there. Might be an issue of the clock or the yardage that they need to adjust. We do see some comments in the chat, and uh, I appreciate that. We are Levitt coverage, but we do try to cover things for both teams. But we will cheer when there's a big play for the Hornets. That's kind of how we do, do we do things. But we do appreciate you Freiburg uh, fans and this Freiburg team for the game they're playing. Yeah, that's a great game. It's not second and 20. OK, I was going to say, there we go. Second and four. Card takes a snap. Quick handoff. Goes to number 33. Malik Sal with the carry. Didn't pick up much, if anything. Going to bring up third down. Clock is running. All right, so third and four. Receivers out to the left and right, no one in the backfield. Carter in the shotgun position, takes the snap. He's looking to put the ball in the air, and that's going to fall incomplete. That'll that, bring up fourth down. I think that was tipped by uh, Keats. I believe. Fourth and four, seven minutes, 56 seconds to go. You might say this might be the biggest play of the game here for the Hornets. Yeah, if you're Farber, you got to go for this, right? Not in a position, you don't have a place in the field where you want to punt. I got that replay if you want to look really quickly. All right, let's do it. That is Will Keach following the receiver, getting him in coverage, putting that right hand out right in the hands of the receiver if Keach isn't there. So doing a nice job getting that hand up. Almost picked off, but nice. All right, Gunnar Saunders in the backfield with Carter. Carter takes a snap. He is going to throw it. Tips. Nice. And that's going to fall incomplete. Negley on the tip. Big play by 53, Jason Egley. So the Hornets will get the ball back. So they were down by 11, and Freiburg had the ball at one point. Now the Hornets down by three with the ball. Still a lot of time, but a lot of action So to go. much time left. 7.51 to go here in this fourth quarter. Got the replay on that. Cut. So you can see Jason Egley off to the right-hand side. So like I said before, 70 actually doing a really good job of kind of like keeping him from getting to the quarterback, but Negley, knowing that he's not going to quite get there, sees the quarterback go back to throw. So he puts that right hand up and over, able to get the tip. All right, here we go. All right, Carpenter in the shotgun. He's going to keep it himself and run it. A little bit of not a horse collar there. tackle there, but they don't call it. Brought down, game, short game. Trying to cover my mic, I don't I know, but it's hard to do. It's hard, I know. <laughs> Sorry, people. The wind is whipping up here. So they have no gain on that one, so it'll be second down and 10. Carpenter with one man in the backfield, man in motion, takes a snap. I think he wanted to put the ball in the air, but he's going to keep it himself. Noah Carpenter with a big run here. Nice block. Finds the sideline, and he's tripped up at the 40. That's a great tackle there at the end by Great tackle, but a great run by Carpenter, and that's going to uh, be a first down for the Hornets. Coach Hathaway, very Hathaway, upset. Very yeah, upset. that looked. Uh, that great. tackle was a trip. Is that what he's saying? Looks like. No, yep, that's a that's a pretty blatant slide tackle by that defensive oh, right. player. Well, I didn't, so I'm not sure if we want to, but that's pretty clear, like not even really making an attempt with the hand, like kind of sticking the foot out. I don't know. If, Argue, so, make your point, but hey, there's a there's a first and ten. There's a very clear. I'm very understanding of. Noah and Coach Hath being upset because that's a pretty blatant and ridiculous call. Coach Hathaway, I think, calling a timeout so he can continue to kind of figure out what's going on here. So they're at the 40. So not to highlight the, the negative, 40. but that was a positive play. So if you want to get a replay on that one. Yeah. So right here. And also, if you want to keep an eye on for Aiden Turcotte motioning out to the right, it's not really a designed run. He is going out to pass, but Turk does do a great job of getting out there and making a block on number one to help Noah get a little bit more 
yardage. So motions off to the right, looking for a pass. Nothing's really opening up, starts to run. You see four ain't Turk out right there, make a pretty good block on one. And oh then, yeah, you can see the like, slide tackle there at the end. <laughs> at, at the end. It's not illegal playing soccer either from behind like that. No, so. Um, but here we go, 40 yard line of Freiburg. Right. Yeah, like I said, not to negate that, but he, you know, Noah was able to pick up about 15 to 20 yards on that run, so. Right. He is back in the shotgun position, three receivers wide. Man in motion. And a quick handoff. But he is met by the Freiburg defense and brought down. Yep, and the Freiburg fans a lot. The Freiburg fan section has traveled well from the western part. Oh, they're not cheering anymore when I put the camera on them, but they were, <laughs> <laughs> they were cheering really loud. All right, that run was good for a yard. They'll bring up second and nine. Colton Taylor in the backfield with Noah Carpenter. Carpenter's gonna keep it, he's gonna throw it. And a good catch nice there. Nice pass, Will Keach. Will Keach is gonna pull that in and get the first down. First down. I got that play if you wanna watch it. I think he got to about the 29. So 31, Will Keach motioning out to the right. Nice pass. Able to get a few extra yards after contact. Out about the 24 yard line. All right, the Horns with the ball, first and 10 here. Man in motion. Noah's gonna keep it himself, right up the middle. Breaks a couple of tackles, but he's brought down. Didn't get much of anything there though, maybe a yard. Oh no, I'm wrong. He got like. Yeah, six I was gonna yards. say you got like. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I, I, Come well, on, Chip. I did. Wow. <laughs> Rides, how long did you have that ready line ready? Oh, <laughs> you like months? Yeah, you long waited. time. Long time. <laughs> you waited for the right time. Though. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Baduch. <laughs> All right. When I think of something like that, I I never have the patience to wait that long. All right. Second and five. Will Keach in the backfield with Noah Carpenter. Carpenter in the shotgun, takes a snap. He's gonna take it himself. Finds a hole, he's got enough for the first down. And they push him all the way inside the 10. 4.54 to go here in this game. Nice hard earned physical run by Noah Carpenter. So we got that replay. So you can see Maddox Demers in the backfield. Jason Negley's gonna pull to the left. He's gonna, Max is gonna fall behind Negley, act as a lead blocker for Noah. Or actually, Max is gonna go in front. A lot of Freiburg defenders getting their hands on Noah, but again, Noah being a strong physical runner is not gonna go down easy. All right. First and 10 on the seven yard line now for the Hornets. They have three receivers wide. They have a man in motion, and it's a quick handoff. Oh, ball is nope. out. He's down, he's down, he's down. He's but down. I think he was down by contact. Yeah. Yes, that is what they're calling. Looks like he got the ball back anyway. He got the ball anyway. But he was definitely down by contact. So they're second and goal on the two. That clock and continues that clock. to run. We're going to go under four minutes here. I think you're probably gonna see Noah Carpenter follow right behind Jace Negley and see if he can get into the end zone. Colton Taylor in the backfield. Oh, Colton Taylor in the backfield. Big Colton Taylor guy. Yes, we are. But Noah is gonna keep it. Noah is gonna go in for the touchdown and Levitt has the lead. The crowd is getting up here at Libby Field. Horns and honking. Horns are honking. 35, 32, now you would go for the one. Make it a four point lead. Great drive. What Three a great drive. drive. And we have a big drive coming up here because we're gonna be kicking it back off to, back off to Freiburg. So Carpenter will be back for the extra point kick. See if we can make this a four point lead. <laughs> 
And that is good. Drilled through. So 36, 32, three and a half minutes to go. Got that touchdown ready. Okay, let's do it. All right, so you're going to see Will Keach motioning to the right, Colton Taylor in the backfield. You're going to see Mason Twitchell pull and go out to the right, Colton Taylor act as a lead blocker, and then open up a hole. Able to get in there. iPad's at 10%, so hopefully. Oh, we, might, <laughs> we might lose replays. I think the cold weather is uh, affecting all of our Everything. equipment here. Yeah. Yeah. You could turn down the brightness, maybe. Might help. Um. <laughs> Also, we, have, we do appreciate that this is a close game, but let's not go back and forth in the chat. Let's just focus on the game. We don't need to focus on anything else. We want to be our focus on the game. We don't have to be managing anything in the chat. So let's focus right now. This is going to be a great finish. Three and a half minutes to go. Freddie Francis and Logan Walton back for Freiburg to receive this kick. Now, how deep does the Hornets kick here? I'd say deep. I'd no, say deep. I imagine Noah's just trying to move this in the into back the end, end zone. zone. Yeah, this I might isn't catch anything. This, one. this isn't anything that you want to be yeah, take, onside, take taking no any chances, skip kicks. You right? want to boot it. So big kick. Freddie Francis gets oh. a hand on it. He falls in the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Freiburg will take over at the 20 yard line with 3.35 to go here in this game. Now I asked about that rule earlier this season. Even if they touch it outside of the end zone, if it bounces in on the kickoff. If the, the if the ball ends up, even if they don't touch it, if it just rolls into the end zone, they can't go and then pick it up and then go. If the ball yep. crosses over at any point, touchback. Uh, we're still on two, guys. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry, that, didn't, didn't miss much. Yeah, just a kickoff. Just a kickoff. Freiburg now has it at the 20-yard line. So, Carter back in the shotgun through receiver set. Once again, Noah Carpenter kind of shadowing Logan Walton to make sure he doesn't get the big tips play. Tips again. Ball tips. Chase Negley making another big play. Chase Negley with another tip. That'll bring up second down. And the Hornets have done that a lot this half. They are getting in there, getting their hands up to try to knock down some of these passes. Yep. And this crowd is loud on both sides of the field. This I got that like, replay. That's a nice, if you watch Jake Snegley 53 on the left-hand side, he hits a nice spin move on that first block. Able to get out of that block, get up there, oh, we're jump back. up and get that tip. All right, we'll go back. No, All nice right, one. same set now. Carter's going to take the snap from the shotgun. No one in the backfield. Almost he got him. He escapes a tackle. He's going to run it. And he's they brought down it. right at the right at the first down. I first think hit he by have... 31, Will Keach, 75, Mason Twitchell, and then Brandon Bilodeau. He did get yeah, enough for the first down, though. Nice run there by uh, Cohen Carter. Cohen Carter does not go down easy. He does not. He's There's taken a lot, lot of hits. Like the, two or three guys the initial hit does not seem to take him down. It's always. Honestly, none of the playmakers for either team go no. down easily. Whether it's the quarterbacks, the receivers, or the running backs, they are, again, everyone on this field is a physical, intense football player. Carter back to throw. He puts the ball in the air. Oh! oh. Almost picked off by Aiden Turcott. Jumps that pass. That will fall incomplete, so that'll bring up second down. And guys, I don't want to lose, even for us, that we are watching a all-time classic this game right now. Great, this is a great, great game. Great, great Southern Maine final. Like right what? Now. A, what an evenly matching, you know, evenly matched up teams, like both offense and defense. This has been back and forth and very exciting. So Freiburg comes out, second down and ten. Got a man in motion. He cuts up field. Caught. And that's a catch. That was I number. don't know if they got the first down, though. I do not believe that's a first. Looks about three yards short of a first down. That was number three, Jagger Helwig. So third and two. Great catch. 2.30 to go, clock's ticking. What are they, what's the timeout situation for Friday? Two to two. Two timeouts each. That was a nice tackle, 22, Brandon Bilodeau. He's been making a lot of good tackles on this these last few drives, so. All right, big hole over there by Jason Negley. Quarterback's gonna keep it, and he's met. 
As we I, talked about, tough to take him down. I think that'll be yeah. enough for the first down. First. Yep. They are moving the chains. So first down and 10 for Freiburg. That'll stop the clock. Good run while there. Move the chains. Good run there by Cohen Carter. He makes. Just in time for the two minute warning here. <laughs> Which we don't have. Which we don't have. <laughs> Minute 48. First and 10, Cohen Carter in the shotgun. He takes the snap. Oh, looks like that could have been a false start. Good tackle, Aiden Turcotte. Great tackle by Aiden Turcotte. He tries to get out of bounds, but he's not able to, so the clock, clock. is going to continue to run. Minute 30. That pass was good for about five yards, so they'll bring up second and five. And the Hornets will take that. Oh. And might have been a timeout. Four. I don't see the signal. I don't see a flag. I... Not sure what's going on. Neutrozone? Penalty Encro on the Hornets. What, what's that call? It's not Neutrozone in high school. I mean, offsides encroachment. Uh, yeah, encroachment encroachment on Negley. I didn't see a flag though. So I didn't see a flag either. No, I'm not I didn't. That sure. Was that sets up a first down though. I'm not sure what, but it looks. Yeah, you know what? Moving on. <laughs> All right, first and ten now for Freiburg. Minute 17 on the clock. Quick handoff to number five. He's brought down. That'll keep the clock running. Number five is Michael Malia. Now it doesn't, they're not gonna have enough time to just keep running what they've been doing, so keep an eye on number one. So we're gonna go Looking under a ball. minute here. Oh. Quarterback with all sorts of time. All sorts of time. He puts the oh, ball no. way up in the air. Oh, oh incomplete. It falls incomplete. That was the number two, Gunnar Saunders, I think. Aiden Turcotte was right Aiden there. Aiden Turcotte making wow. a great defensive play out there. Wiping our brow if we could sweat. <laughs> <laughs> if you were, You'd be wiping an icicle. But yes. uh, 51 seconds to go. That'll bring up third down and 10. Obviously, we're in four down territory here because Freiburg needs to score. Yep. Third down and? Third and four. Third and four, I'm sorry. Surprised we haven't seen a timeout from either side here. Let's so, make sure we know what's going on. So I don't want to go away from the game, but in that replay, that ball was in that guy's hands. Aiden Turcotte putting his Knocked hand in there right and out. just ripping it out of his hands, making a great defense. All right, That's big carry. Quarterback looking around. Oh, looks like he's got a lot of time. So much time. Get him, Colton. It's completed. He's able to make, but they do keep him in bounds. Should Clock be a timeout, I was assuming. That's, yep. that's There's a timeout. A timeout. Okay, 37.6 seconds to go. A very exciting end of this game here. We are 37 seconds away. Levitt up 36 32, but Freiburg driving. Driving to try to win the game at this point. This is. They are inside the 40 yard line. The wind is blowing left to right. The cowbells are being rung. The crowd is into <laughs> it. Uh, this is just a great night of football. And for one of these teams, it's not going to seem like a great night <laughs> in a moment here. But this is just phenomenal. We could not ask for a better game to uh, watch. See if Levitt does what they do all year, make a big play. First down and 10. Looks like the quarterback from Freiburg's changing the play at the line here. He takes a snap. Puts the ball in the air. Good tackle. Great tackle. Clock's running. Great tackle inbounds. Nice job, when does he call it? Does he call it? They are, they are not calling time. It looks like they're going to hurry up and try to snap it here. 22 seconds. A lot of time off the clock here. And he puts the ball in the air again, and he is able to get out of bounds. 13.8 seconds to go. He did get the catch as well. I don't know if he got enough for the first down. I don't think it matters. Well, it might. It might. Probably not, though, you're right. 
13.8 seconds on the clock. So we got out of bounds. That was, uh, that was to stop the clock. The play clock, however, is still running. Down to 16 seconds on the play clock. Quarterback just running in with the play right now. Play clock goes under 10. Here we go. And Freiburg backing off. I'm not sure what's... Uh, was there a timeout? I don't think there was uh, a... It looks like they're doing a measurement. Oh. Okay. oh. I think that's a official timeout. Okay. Just, uh, the chain gang, this is your moment, guys. So this is where I said I didn't. I didn't think it was. I thought he was short of the first down. They're gonna. They're gonna verify it right now. These chain gang guys are running the whole length of the field. Thirteen seconds to go here, and I believe that's short. No, it is first down. First okay. down. So and now four chances rather than only two previously. But only one timeout remaining for Frederick. Yeah, and they just have those 14 seconds, so. Everything needs to be a throw here for Freiburg. The downs basically don't matter anymore. It's just going to be right. when 14 seconds is gone. Right. So the Hornets with a number of players back in the end zone, kind of that prevent defense back there waiting. Quarterback takes the, takes a snap. Taking He's under long. pressure. And he's going to go down. Snagley making a big play. That'll do Ball. it. That'll do it. Well, the, the clock's running. They call timeout. Did they call timeout? I think they still have one left, correct? I bet they adjust the clock here. Yeah. All right. The clock stops at four minutes, four, four seconds, seconds. 4.1 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, they may be adding yeah. a little bit of yeah, time. Yeah, I think they could the they could easily take that back to six or seven seconds. But, but virtually but. one chance remaining for the Freiburg Raiders. I do have that replay if we want to. Yep, let's do it. So you can see 53, Jason Egley off to the side, able to defeat a couple of blocks, he, making his way into the backfield. He's down at about big the, time play. He's down at about the 26, maybe 27. That looks like where we're going to be going for in this last play. Looks it. They did not put any time on the clock. So yep, they just, did. Eight seconds on oh, the clock. Oh, as I said it, this was so <laughs> could could maybe be maybe two, two plays. plays. But no more than two plays, so this is so likely. Clearly, Logan Walton has been the go-to receiver this entire game. You would think that his number is going to be called here. He lines up in the slot position. And the ball is going his direction. And that ball is picked off by the Levin Hornets. And that is the game. Levin is going wow. to the state title game. Is that Noah Carpenter? Yeah. Who, Who else Noah but Carpenter? number six, Noah Carpenter, wow. picking Noah. off that play. Late in the game, we made that switch, put Noah on him, and wow. you saw why he is the uh, reigning Gatorade Player of the Year. I and mean, I'm going to say, hopefully, the Fitzpatrick player. I can't yes. imagine they don't give it to I him. I can't imagine it goes anywhere else. What, what a, a game. great game here at Libby Field. Hats off to the Freiburg Raiders. Oh, they came to play. Absolutely. They did everything they could do. And you just came up a little short, and the Hornets will be going to the state title game against Oceanside next Saturday at Lewiston. Yep. That will not be covered on Buzz Media. That will be covered on, I don't know, whoever the NPA contracts. But uh, <laughs> thank you for providing us this record uh, crowd and enjoying this amazing Is that uh, Saturday number night. Number 23 game. in a row? Yes. 23 right? wins in a row. Yes, yeah, number 23. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. That was scary, guys. No, well, was this was, was by far, was like... again, shout out to Freiburg, Class A, Class B, Class C. I don't care. That was by far the most exciting game that we yes. had the entire season. Yeah, no, well, Freiburg. And you guys weren't up here for it, but Chip, there's a little bit of Cape flashbacks. Yes. <laughs> the clock winding down. Right. <laughs> but uh, what not, a great game. Not this time. Thank you, everyone who tuned in. Um, and we are going to go warm up. So. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Over and out. Actually, I can't Season get finale of Buzz Media. Thank you, everyone, for <laughs> oh, tuning yeah. in. We'll be back for basketball. Uh, let me see. I got the mouse to move. And, and stream. And good night.